Yo, it's your boy Rick Bell, and when I want to hear some real shit, I listen to Conceited Nobody. Oh, yeah. They keep it 100. Oh, yeah. A couple of nobodies. You should fucking listen to. I just caught the 40, I might let it bang on them. I might rip my heart, I pour out all my pain on them. I might want to shine, cop a couple chains on them. I might want to stun and pull up in that ring. I still believe in Mr. Deuce Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> and we not starting over. I still I still I still I still sexy. Congratulations, Mary. You finally get to meet me. Until I can find a one. I know I need. I'm not thinking about me. I still believe in love. See, Mary looking at a young boy toy. I pray for you. This yeah, tough times yeah. made me make for you. Wish I was there to do them days with you. God bless you, you special. I first met you, you was moving the sun. But I could tell you was losing your uh. You wasn't used to that swag, Chanel bags. Yeah, you used to a ton. It goes bad with men abusing the fun. I was one of them. Fresh from Essence. Hollow fly legend. Could tell he be flexing. For real, every dressing. Collection. See you had me be a blessing. Guessing no more stressing. Just me and you was destined. To believe this shit, shit bad energy, negativity, yo. lead that shit. Like I respect your following and your lead shit. Uh, you the nah, captain nah, nah, nah. of my boat, you can I lead the shit. They they in Yonkers right now. Still believing. Nah, that was good. 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 That was It's like a wedding song, yo. Yeah. <laughs> you play that at a wedding. <laughs> Should be going to put on a three piece. Yeah. Hey, baby. Oh, shout out to me, yo. Congratulations. You, you finally though? get to meet me. I was at work prom this weekend. <laughs> work prom. Yeah, that was a nice suit, man. That was my, my weekend. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Talk about your weekend. I said, uh, I jump into it. Jared, Jared uh, picked it out. My oldest son. Okay. We was hanging out. I said, yo, I got to pick up this suit. I did, a, I did a rental. I was like, I'm not going to wear one of my old suits. Let me get something fresh. But I didn't want to buy a new suit for this, for this one time. I know I'm only going to wear it one night. I said, fuck it. Let me get something nice for the night. I go to men's warehouse. I got my older son with me. We driving. Pardon me. Long pause. We about to pull up to the, the store. We had the red light. And my son goes out of nowhere. He just goes, you know what you should bring? You should have 18 pounds of bananas. And I was like, What? Like, where did that where did that come from? He's like, I'm sorry. Like he caught himself completely. He's like, I'm sorry. I just thought of a random number and the first thing that popped in my head. I said, All right. I said, if it was a joke, I wanted to be in on it. I was like, because the only way I need 18 pounds of bananas is if I'm buying clothes off of Donkey Kong. He chuckled a little bit and I was like, All right, that's it. I'm good. The joke is over, right? right. There's no joke here. There's nothing else to mine from this, right? This is done. All right, perfect. We pull up, we go inside. I explain to them. I'm going to a work prom. I want to look nice. And my wife is wearing a navy blue 
outfit. She got a nice decked out navy blue dress. And I want us to compliment each other. So he goes, no problem. Come over here. We start with the jackets. Put, uh, which one do you like out of these three? He pulled out a navy blue one with some crazy pattern design, like floral shit going on in it. A solid navy blue and another navy blue with like black lining. Black accents on the side, the pockets and shit. I was feeling the solid navy blue with the black. But I'm with my son and I want him to be more involved. He's always like in the fucking video game or in his iPhone. I'm like, I want him to be a part of life. Right. Like I want him to be at least involved in this. At least have him. Uh, let's see what he thinks. And I come over here, Jay. Which jacket you think I should take? Which jacket you think I should pick? He looks at him and he puts his finger on the one with the crazy pattern, the crazy design. It's like real outlandish, right? And I'm laughing and I go, I'm, I wasn't thinking about it, but I was like, you think I would look good in that? I think he's fucking with me. I think to me, I'm taking it as he wants to pick the crazy one to see if I'll do it. It's almost like a challenge. He thought he was challenging. I feel like he's challenging me. <laughs> like, like, I'm not going to back down from you. I gotta, oh, okay. So he picked the craziest one. And Boy, I go, got you, some style. And I go, you think, you think I should pick this one, not these other ones? You think I look good in that? And he's like, yeah. I was like, you want me to pick? You want to get crazy? You think I won't get crazy? And he goes, let's go bananas. <laughs> I said, yo, Jake, that was like so spectacular. I was so proud of him. He brought it he back. He pulled back the joke that there was nothing to pull from. And he fucking brought it back and like put it in my face. And I said, Jay, that's the fucking, that's the outfit I'm going with. And I look great. <laughs> Congratulations. You finally get to meet Pass me. Pass the fire. Pass the fire, please. So I picked that shit and it was, it was dope, man. It looked good. I had a good time. Wifey loved it. The work prom, the work prom was fun. I, I like it. Cause I get to see a lot of motherfuckers I haven't seen in years, and you haven't seen people in so long. You see, like, age is catching up to all of us. Oh yeah, we. I feel old. like we looking great for our age, but not everybody's no, so lucky. Age, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, I see somebody on the internet the other day that said they was forty, and I was like, oh my god, you're forty, yeah, right? Jesus. They don't look, yeah, they look like 52 or something. Eat a vegetable. My gosh. And another thing wifey point out, one pointed out, she was like, you know a lot of people here. Like, I'm like, it's like political shit. You shake your no. hands. The commissioner was there. The president of the union was there. It's like big people at this party. And I'm like, I've been around here for a long time. But hold on, hold on. You well, got, <laughs> you're moving sorry too fast. My bad, my bad. Right? You dial it back a little bit. Because <laughs> the suit was nice. It was well, like a bluish... It, it had like a black blue. lapel. You had you had suspenders with it. I had suspenders with it. I and said, what, "Fuck what, it, I'm gonna go all what out." What kind of pants was it? It was like what was it? solid black pants with like a satin fucking streak on the side. And what kind? Of, what shoes did you wear? The shoes I just had. Uh, the patent leather shoes that they gave patent me. Patent leather was nice. Yeah. And you bought some socks to match. Mm -hmm. They threw in black socks. It, the whole shit was rented. It was like two eighty for the night. I said, "Perfect." Had cufflink shirt. No. Okay. Button, button shirt. Button shirt. Okay. I never took the jacket off at the event. I didn't take the jacket off till like the the after hangout. Yeah, I don't like taking jackets off when I'm at space either. Yeah, that's why I'm like, yo, I'm it's like I uniform. This, shit. this is my shit, yo. Yeah, this is I, this this is a whole outfit. I stood out. Everybody was like real serious, business minded, and I was just like, fuck that. Hey, yo, I'm here is, for the party, yo. It's an open bar. The food is off the hook. Like we had a I good mean, time. I, it looked really nice. You know what I mean? It wasn't like it, it wasn't like a super flashy. It wasn't like a barbecue. It yeah, was, nah, it was, it was the work prom. It was the work prom. It was it was nice. It was definitely because when I seen it, I'm like, oh shit! Look it's at where this. the bosses they show off their wives and shit. Listen, they definitely remembered you <laughs> in that suit. Mm -hmm. You know, just people make well, a lot of love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nobody yeah. didn't say a bad thing. I, mean, I don't yeah. think they would either. But it was but shit was fly. I was killing it. It's, it's kind of shit that you look at. You like, damn, I should have wear some fly shit too. Yo. Yeah, right now. <laughs> The funny shit too, the table we sat at, like half the table, it felt like they they admired me the whole time. Yeah. It's it's You're it, the best dress. But to me, it's you not presence. just that. But I've been there so no, long. Like, and a lot of these motherfuckers I knew since they got on the on. job. Hold on. See, that's why I need hmm? I need more access to these buttons. Hey, yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you need? You hit it with the fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> and came back with the hold on. Oh, you see? It's hard to fuck you. Yeah, don't look at me. <laughs> Hold on, how you hit that? How you be hitting both them buttons like you that? You see, you like that, right? I hit on. I got. A, I got the magic stick. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's fly. You had it's, cool. it's funny. Some dude said a story because he he introduced me, and and my wife also pointed out that it's a it was like a younger crowd there, and I'm like, hey, we we've been here for a long time. There's like a new wave. Hide the coming. money, y'all. <laughs> There's poor people around. You don't know which one you which one you want to hit? That was a one. With your broke oh, okay. ass. <laughs> just, just keep that ready for me. I'm gonna hit that a couple more times. <laughs> this one dude said, "Uh, he introduced me to his boy, and I guess they're working downtown now." And he goes, "You don't fill in no more, right?" <clears throat> and I go, "Nah, I haven't in a while. I got my spot out here in Staten Island." And he goes, "Oh man, the other day I was working with such and such, and they still talk about you down there." Mm. And the boy he introduced me with, he goes, oh, were you some type of legend? And I laugh. Have the money, y'all. <laughs> There's said, poor people around. I always around. make my presence known. <laughs> with your broke ass. <laughs> Congratulations. You finally get to meet me. Yeah. It's fun. It feels like Newtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my wife even says, she's like, you're really popular here. Yeah, it's natural. And I go, how? It's just Somebody, the people I run into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big boss, uh, one of the boroughs that we we got on the job at the same time picking up baskets together. We ended up chilling half the night. They had hand rolled cigars going on outside. It was a dope, and it was nice that night. It was Friday night into the eighty degree Saturday that we got. Oh, that was a nice. Week, it yeah. was a great fucking night, yo. I was hanging out. It was it was dope hanging out with people that people I used to fucking see every day, and now we get to chill for a minute. Yeah, you guys been there a long time. Mm-hmm. Long time, long time. That suit was nice though. One of my boy, one of my I, I seen, I seen the photo. I was like, oh <laughs> shit, Cause, you know, because you would have if you if it wasn't for your side, you'd have picked some regular old. I would have picked shit. the solid blue. Yeah, I would have picked the solid navy blue. The black was flashy enough. The black accents, I was like, oh, I'm killing it with this. Your little black accent, you're like, oh yeah. Sun came out and said, nah. And then you know what? Fucking look great. It was it. the joke. Yeah, what well, was, was the joke? It was the oh, let's the go bananas. bananas. Oh, yeah, if you yeah, don't yeah. say that shit, I would have been like, yo, I would have said, fuck out of here, yo. Oh, yeah, you don't Listen. know, you don't know shit about nah. fashion, yo. You look at cartoons all day. <laughs> Dominic got style. Dominic got style. Yeah, that, yeah? Dominic's have, the one, I, the I fashionista. He's Is the he? fashionista. I tell him, yo, let's go, let's get dressed. He got the baby blue hoodie with the baby blue Jordans. I'm like, oh, you look uh, good, okay. yo. You put that together, all right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Accident, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good look, though. I know. As soon as I seen the pictures, no, I was like, "Yo, oh, look at that!" Me up. Nice. Yeah, I would. I would have never picked that that outfit if it wasn't for him. Sitting at the table, shining. That's how I like to be. That's why I like. I like doing shit like shining. that because then it's a better story to tell. I, I if see. I would just went by myself and picked the regular fucking, it would have been a regular ass night. Boring. <laughs> Where's that one at? <laughs> <laughs> Boring. Oh, hey, yo. You know I mean? Fuck out of here, yo. Get your son on the show. We don't want to hear you talk no more. <laughs> Nah, it was a good choice, man. It was. It was it was fun too. And the fact that I've lost like 10 pounds, it helped a lot. Oh, you look like you lost some yeah, weight. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Let me see if I get yeah. this. I hey, see. Just a little bit. It's just fasting and not eating late. Okay. Not eating late, I realized helps me out the next day. You wake up better? Yeah. Like yeah. up like a huge difference. Yo, I used to wake up pissed off, irritated because I wasn't getting good sleep. Mm. My body's still digesting the food I just had while I'm in bed. Yeah. So me and wifey, we would snack in bed and then we would get like pizza and just eat pizza in bed with popcorn. Like old D's, so like real, savages watching real fast watching shit. movies. Now we watching we've been watching the Sopranos. That's love. Oh. Yeah. Her first time? Her no, she loved it. It this is my first time. It's your first time I've watching Sopranos, my yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. Holy I tried watching it a couple years ago. Years ago. She tried to put me on because she loved it. She says yeah. it's like one of the best shows. And I believe it's a great show. Yeah, it's it's just, it's, at the time it came out, it was like how many fucking Italian, mob, I was already hyped with all the Italian movies, the Italian mob movies. That's why it worked so well during that but, time period. Uh, the, but it was like at the tail end of it. And I was already over it. I was already, how many fucking mob, oh, yeah. now I'm going to watch a mob TV show about this guy getting therapy? Nice thing I felt about Marvel. Now I appreciate it more. And I skipped the first season because the first season was like boring as fuck. So we in the second season now, and the second season is a lot better. It's it's more entertaining. They're moving the story along. It's it's there's funny moments. Tony and they're not telling hilarious. no jokes. Yeah. 
They're not telling Tony, no jokes and should be uh, fucking uh, hysterical. Tony is son. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Not yeah. him. Tony is funny. Big and the pussy. other the other dude with the fucking white slip back hair. Rest oh, in peace. Oh, yeah. He passed away. Yeah. yeah. He's fucking he's hilarious. He's the man in that show, yo. <laughs> he's fucking funny. The, the episode where they go to Italy and he's just trying to have a good time, but everybody's shitting on him. Son, I'm <laughs> laughing my ass <laughs> off, son. He's doing everything he can. He's trying to say hi to people. They're giving him dirty looks and he's like, fucking cocksucker. <laughs> 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 yeah, Yo, that, that show is good. It's, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm watching it. It was just that first season was too rough for me. <laughs> yeah, James Gandolfini. You know, no, does, rest in peace. Rest in peace to him. He does Sopranos, and if you look at the work that he does after that, it was such a big pivot from mm-hmm. Tony Soprano. Yeah, it really yeah. made me appreciate his acting style. Like so in Tony Soprano, he's like he's a good dramatic actor. Yeah, yeah. he's like big mob boss. Mm-hmm. But like after that, he does a lot of like funny roles, drama, yeah. soft roles. And you're like, yo, this guy mm-hmm. has mad range. Yeah, range. Yeah, yeah. But, but that was it. But even that that whole show that should change TV. He's the first like he's one of the first anti villains, anti heroes, anti heroes. Yeah. yeah, on TV, on TV. Yeah, yeah. you it's couldn't. A big deal. He's like he was and a hero, it, but he was a bad man. I like I like a lot that. Even though he's like the mob boss, right? They never show him on the street level shit, day to day shit. I like I appreciate that shit a lot because he would have no business doing that shit. Yeah. A lot of the episodes I'm watching is him making the deals and him dealing with other people's repercussions. Well, you know the street level shit is first season. Well, I'm you, you know, I wasn't into it because it, it takes a. Uh, he starts off like a regular, you know. He has his little little peoples and shit. She's trying to make it man. At the end of the first season, he steps That's into he it. Moves up. All right. You know what I mean? His uncle June and all that. Like mm-hmm. he's like, all right, he I need something happen that some, shit. Somebody dies or some shit, and he has Probably. to step into it. I like where he's at now because he's dealing with all this shit, and he's a fucking regular, not regular, but he's a husband and a father. Those scenes be funny. When the daughter throws a party, she's not supposed to be at, and how they gonna decide how to discipline her. I relate to that shit a lot. It's like, damn, look. Look at the fucking mess you gotta fucking clean up. Yeah. So those are like real moments that is relatable. I appreciate that. Big shout out to Carmella. Mm-hmm. Oh man, his wife is like, oh, 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 oh. She uh, she ended up being Nurse Jackie after this too, which is pretty after good. this. What's yeah. Nurse Jackie? Well, she plays like a nurse at a, in the ER. That's like a where oh, and what? Oh, that's the name of the show. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. If you want to Google it now. No, 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 my bad. I thought, oh, what? Well, pause. No. <laughs> Who's that? The Stallion? Yeah. Why are you pausing the Stallion? I mean, you pause. Stop. Yeah. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nurse Jackie. She plays a drug addicted nurse, struggles to find balance between the demands of a. Oh, she got job. her own show after that. Oh, good for her. Mm-hmm. Oh, shout out to her. <laughs> and her name is Edie Falco. Big shout out to Edie Falco. Yeah, good. Talented. It's one of my early. White woman crushes. Yeah. Oh yeah. She was a hot end. <laughs> There's a scene. She doesn't do a lot of nudity, nudity in Sony Sopranos, but like late in the series, they show you they they have sex mm-hmm. and they show you her from the back. She got a yeah. fatty. She boy. got a case. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, she not buffy the body enough. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't on that. You know, but for a fucking fifty year old Italian late mom. Yeah, she was, and she was, yeah, yo. I mean, she still looks great now. I mean, she looks like she takes good care of herself. But in that time period, Tony mm-hmm. Soprano, it was like, I caught that little scene, boy. Man. Yeah, you fell in love. Vaseline didn't have a chance that week. So it was <laughs> over after that. <laughs> uh, but you'll enjoy it. Big, uh, big rest in peace to uh, Matthew Perry, right? We talking about TV. Oh, man. Oh, we don't, yo, stop speeding up the show. Let's talk about my weekend. Part of me. This guy, man. I'm all over the place. There you are. Look I'm at lit. You. It feels Folks. like it feels like this wasn't gonna happen today. Let's talk yeah. about that. <laughs> Once again, speeding up the show. <laughs> How was your weekend? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Weekend was good. Went to a Halloween party this week. Another one. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, it was my phone. <laughs> um. It was Where good. at? And and CT. Oh, you went to Connecticut? Yeah, it was like oh, a shit. two hour drive and shit. Mm. Get there, you know. Wait, 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 wait. How how is driving just for a party? I feel well, like I haven't done that in so long. Well, we knew we were going. It's my partner's family's people's, mm-hmm. right? You know, big shout out to them. Uh and so we got the Airbnb 
early. So like I was like, yo, I got an Airbnb around the corner from the crib. Oh, so fire. my plan was just drive to the Airbnb, park, walk over to the party, get right. Oh, you good. Come back, yeah. sleep. Stumble back. Yeah, and then zoom out. So so that's really what it was. Uh, I, I normally, I mean, it's, it's like her family people's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, yeah, we were going to go regardless. But it was two hours bo- both ways. Yeah, I'm not. I'm if not, I'm out yeah. partying, yeah, I'm crashing. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I'm not crashing nobody's crib. No, you know, no, no, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, that's why I asked, I asked you before when you was telling me uh, if you did the hotel or the Airbnb. Yeah, because if it's just one night, I won't mind staying at a hotel. The hotel was a few blocks further, and mm-hmm. I think we would have had to take it. A, a you made Uber. out, you made out better then. Yeah, yeah. yeah was, I like to do a comparison, and then Airbnb was like, it was cheap, it was like a hundred dollars. Fuck it, yeah. You rent yeah, in a room, win win. You know what I mean? They, the guy had like a, it was like a six seven bedroom house that he basically. Airbnb every room in the house. Oh shit! Every every door had like a keypad code to it that he gave you. So God it was like really self managed type shit. But you know, we were just we came in there, changed into our, and then I didn't want to drive in my costume. I, I went as Bane this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you have seen the video of the guy that's Bane that's, again. Yeah. Oh, I went. Well, yeah. Bane Hell again. yeah. Hell yeah. Have shit. you seen the video of the guy that's, that that's Batman? He passed away though. There was a did. guy. There was a guy that quit his job and bought and spent like took his retirement money. And bought a, a live, real live uh, uh, Batman suit and a black Lamborghini. And then he would jump in the cars and then he would drive. He made it. He defeated the Lam- Lambo to look like the Batmobile. Oh, my God. And then he um, he would drive to, like, p- kids that were dying and stuff, like like hospitals and yeah. stuff. And I wanted to see Batman. Like do appearances and, and shit? do appearances and, and oh be, like, Batman God. in full character. Like, real, Holy real flash shit. shit. Right, so I ain't wanna. I ain't wanna superhero. do that. I ain't wanna do all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Get pulled over. <laughs> I am here to liberate the people. <laughs> yeah. License of registration, <laughs> motherfucker. Right. <laughs> so we changed into our outfit and walked over there. Get to the joint. It's love. But we had brought some liquor. But when I get there, I look around. And you know, cause we we didn't get there when it started. You know, we by the time we got there, it was well well under. Mm-hmm. I'm looking around the room. I'm like, nah, we don't need to pull this thing out right now. So I tucked the I, I grabbed the bag for my for my girl. Like, yeah, I'm, like <laughs> you know, I'm gonna hold this right here. Yeah, All right. Cause everybody had been drinking, and they had been drinking to like this party had been moving. Rocking, you feel me? It's, it's rocking. rocking. Yeah, yeah. This wasn't no like yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. just hanging out. Nah, yeah. it was rocking. You know what I <laughs> mean? So and here we show up. You know, in the last few hours with the big bottles, like nah, they already had a full bar. And then plus, I didn't want to show up late and then be. Like trying to like, ask people to do shit. Yeah. Cause now if I'm pulling out shit, you have to figure out, you know, what to do with it. It's mm. it's a lot. You know what I mean? I'm like, nah, we don't need to add to the work. As soon as we got there, they were offering us drinks. There was no shortage of drinks. Okay. So it was just like, yo, we yeah. don't need to do all that. Yeah. So me, so we get there, we sit down. Yeah, I'm I'm drinking. And something in my spirit was just like, you know what? Let me get as many drinks as possible. We got the Airbnb. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about here. You know what I mean? We're not driving. This is a family's crib? A family's crib, right? Okay. So it's a safe environment, right? Um, I don't know anybody there, but she knows some of the people you, there. You with her, yeah. And then everybody showed love. And like, from the moment you walked oh, in, everybody yeah. was very friendly. You know what I mean? They, You know, like I said, we walked in, they, they're shoving drinks. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, yo, catch up. up. Yo, <laughs> took you so long to get here type shit. Oh, shit. Right? So we drinking, right? And I'm just like, I asked my partner, like, yo, you want a drink? I went, you know, went, and got, went back to the bar, get a drink. I'm just like, yo. He's like, oh, why are you so pressed by getting drinks? I'm just like, listen, I just feel like we need a drink. Because we got the Airbnb. I don't want to miss out. <laughs> want to take advantage? I want to take advantage, right? Because normally we would be measuring how much we drink because, like, mm-hmm. we got to drive home. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, yo, we would have, like, maybe just one. You're like, I'm trying to get drunk. Yeah. Like, we don't have to worry <laughs> yeah, about that here. That. Like, fuck that. Yeah, like, let's yeah. just get right. And then, fuck out of here, when yo. I said to her, she was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're not driving yeah, yeah. tonight. So, like, let's do that. Let's have a good time. So, so we started start drinking. So we're sitting down. She's talking. Being in for a little minute. And somebody, something happened. I look to my left. I just see somebody falling. Oh, and I'm just shit. like, man, what's going on over there? <laughs> Like, they just fell. drunk. I hope they're all right. That person that fell gets up, upset, pushes another person. Oh no! And the room breaks out. Oh shit! Oh man, it was great. 
<laughs> it was great. It was great. <laughs> it wasn't like it was like family shit. You know yeah. what I mean? So it wasn't like motherfuckers were trying to hurt each other. They weren't trying to kill each other. It was like I mean? an argument. An argument. Oh man. They was drunk. It was like it felt good. <laughs> it felt like a real family you function. You felt like you was at the party. Yeah, yeah. you was part of the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Some people might have been like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we in the building. What's up? So, like, yo, now, they're not throwing hands. They're drunk. So, it's a lot of, like, pushing. Yo, yeah, yeah. yo, you touched my sister a lot. Yo, oh she fell. Ah, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> da, 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 you know what I mean? Because she's like, yo, he pushed me. Da, da. Yo, so they go. <laughs> so now they, they're just rolling from one side of the room to the oh, other. Oh, shit. At one point, they, like, like, my partner, she's sitting next to me. And we're just like, or watching this scene, right? Yes. Or just because initially she was a little concerned. I'm like, nah, 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 chill. Let it play out. Yeah, I'm like, Look, this is this is cool. This is this is, this is us. It's healthy. Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this is, is what us. we do. This is us. <laughs> we good. Yeah, it's the, nobody here is really committing yeah. no violence. She fell. <laughs> she feels like something happened. <laughs> She's trying to address it, being direct with her words. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was two women fighting. That was a guy that that pushed, like shoved her. Oh so, man! I mean, the story I had, the story was like I think she she shoved him first, and he like and just, she, 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 they both drunk. Up, yeah, you know what I mean? And she fell back. You feel me? Or she she fell and it rolled a little bit, so mm. it looked wild, crazy. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? So when she jumped, and it's like her family's house. So oh. when she jumped up, it was like yo, uh, but it was like two families there, and he's with the other family. Uh. So like these both these families now are like it's like Romeo and Juliet, like Game of Thrones and shit. I'm telling you, so, <laughs> so they took my niece. They tumbling, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. So I'm drinking my drink, and they, they you know, because it's my partner's people's. Mm -hmm. So now they one of her, one of her, one of her people's look up like, look at her like, yo, I need your help here. Yo. <laughs> you gotta step up. <laughs> you know what I mean. So my heart to jump up. Now she's been working out. Oh shit, you know, big shout out to her. They're struggling yeah. holding on to these drunk people, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're just struggling to moving them and shit, right? I yo, she does like I have her. Uh, we've been training. She's lost a, you know, she's leaned out considerably, right? I don't know the last time you saw her, but she's leaned out considerably. Uh, I'm not gonna put her numbers out there. You know, women are funny about that. <laughs> but um, and the way I do it, she, you know, she's doing like burpees. She's she doing all the oh, shit. Oh, that's the shit. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah. That's, that's the get right. We go, we go in there. And we lift. <laughs> we lift it. I, I said the joke. My, my man came by the other day because he, my coworker, he, he had looked at it. He was like, "Yo, I seen so and so." You know what I mean? Um, and was just like, "Yo." Well, anyway, not to get into that, right? <laughs> so, so she lost weight. Um, and I was like, "Yo, look." She gets up to try to hold, uh, to help them out, and she's strong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean So when she grabbed This drunk person Body like nothing Like a little kid Son Come here with a little boy Cut it off Held, <laughs> held up <laughs> No actually the, Her home girl So, so she, when she grabs, grabs, her by, grabs her by the chest And shit the whole, the whole thing Stopped moving That's it Everybody <laughs> you know stopped I, mean? I don't think she noticed all right? <laughs> so I'm like When so she sat down She came back and sit down I'm like I'm like yo You you stopped that whole train From moving She's like what you mean and She's like They was rolling From left to right Yeah 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 And then you grabbed The old girl And she That's couldn't it. move no it's more Shut it down yo <laughs> You know what I mean But uh, uh, yo sure. It was a good time man So we ended up leaving there And um, making it back To the crib Did and, the party you know, keep going on After the fight Oh I'm glad you asked that question They fucking <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was like anti so yo. And after that what happened, happened, right? So I need an ending. They arguing, right? But yeah. it's not like violent. It's just arguing. Everybody's drunk. You know, they're upset. You know what I mean? She tight, she landed on the floor. I right. could see that. So the DJ, the DJ had, is is starting to play music again. Somebody walks over and is like, yo, cut the music off. Oh shit. Right? So the DJ's like, All right, but who are you? Security? Oh shit. So he's like, so he's the family of one of the family members that's in the house, right? So he's like, I'm so and so. And he's like, and DJ's like, and he said, DJ's like, oh, okay. I'm just a DJ. I'm here to, you know, they hired me to play the music, right? I don't know what's going on over there. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just playing music. It's a party. You know what I mean? And he's like, well, I said to cut the music off. And, mm -hmm. and he said some other shit. And my, at this point, the music has stopped because the DJ's talking to him. And then, so the DJ's like, he's a little upset and he walks off. Somewhere Comes back And turns the music back on And the guy's like Yo I said cut the music off And the DJ's like Man fuck that And she's like <laughs> We rock We rock it, we yo. Rock it. <laughs> so Fuck out of here yo <laughs> Like dude been Coming his chest out The whole time Right oh, shit. And he's a little upset Like 
Yo, mm-hmm. like he's embarrassed. He's more so embarrassed because like, I could imagine yeah. the DJ is yeah, suck, yeah. making him look like a yeah. sucker. You know what I mean? So then he go and try to grab it, and you know the other family comes out like, "Yo, hold on, oh, you know man. this is that." You know what I mean? But even with all that being said, it was it was right on time for them to end that. <laughs> you know, they ended it. People went home. It didn't turn into anything. Like wrap this shit that. up. Yeah, and we went back to the um. To the Airbnb, but it was it was just funny that whole interaction of like yo, <laughs> and by that time yeah. we was already saucy because I said like I said yeah, yeah, we, we, we yeah, was drinking, drinking back to back, back yeah. to back, you know, and we didn't leave like we didn't leave until like the very last moment, like all the interactions, like the main the main party that was arguing, they were already out in front, they were already they were cleaning up around us, you know what I mean, and we're just like sitting there drinking, trying to get the last couple sips here. <laughs> <laughs> Stumbled back, you know what I mean, um, and drove back to New York um, on Sunday. It was it was it was a pretty good trip. So Connecticut is not too far away, you know. So it's yeah, like two hours in, but it's not a bad turnaround, you know. Um, and then uh, yeah, and then today, fucking <laughs> fell asleep after work. <laughs> These Monday podcasts are rough, Damn, man. Damn, yo, I was ready, son. I worked through lunch today. <laughs> You know, it was later on in the day. You know, I'm in my last last meeting here, and I'm just like, yeah, I pulled up, holding my food in my hand. <laughs> Next thing I know, it's like 5:30. I'm like, holy so I shit! Pull, I pulled up at 3:40. I called you, go to voicemail. Oh, go on. I text you. I said, yo, I just parked. Let me know when you're ready. You know, my phone was in my pocket. I'm sitting on the couch. Mm-hmm. But the door was open though. Not downstairs. Yeah. I'm not gonna walk in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But normally I just leave the door open. I'm just like I didn't, but I wasn't planning on falling asleep. I was just, <laughs> I yep. was just sitting down. I'm bullshitting in the car, listening to podcasts. I'm fucking like 15 minutes later. I call you again. No answer. I said, you know, fuck this. I'm a little hungry. Let me go get sunny. Let me kill some time. I go. I go to the fucking that chicken burger pizza spot. Yeah, yeah. I get some shrimp combo with onion rings. I'm like, I'm gonna kill this shit right now. First, I went to the deli across the street. I wanted to get some a sandwich, but they didn't have whole wheat rolls. I'm okay. like, yo, fuck! If they don't have what I want, I don't. I'm what deli you talking about? The one I want eighty or one seventy eight? Oh, okay, okay. I was like, fuck! I'll go across the street. I'll see what they got. I remember we went last time. They had they had decent shit. I got the shrimp, the onion rings, bullshit on my phone, bullshit on my phone. It's four thirty. Text you again. I'm like, yo, I hope you alive, bro. Like, I hope you're right. Cause you ain't respond. You ain't calling me back. I call you like two more times. You're not responding. They going straight to voicemail. Sleep. I'm calling your work number. I'm calling your cell number. Nothing. At like 4:40, I say, yo, I'm leaving in 10 minutes, B. And I was out. Sure enough, I call you two more times after that. Five o'clock, I was back on the road. Oh man, That's my it. bad. You fucking call me at 5:40. I know you ain't leave, right? <laughs> I didn't know what time it was. I said, what? I, I said, you know what? I said, yo, it's almost six. I said, yo, I'm in Coney Island already, yo. I ain't, yo, I ain't know what time it was, bro. I ain't know, like, I literally just like, you know how, and I didn't even wake up. You know how you wake up? I didn't even wake up nice. You know how you wake up? Because, like, you know. Something you, bothered you? Yeah. Like, son, 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 yo, wake, wake up, up motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh shit, the yeah. oven's on. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, yeah it's like that. <laughs> it's like I popped up. Yeah, I was all out of, like, I was like, a heart beating. I'm like, what's going on? Where, where am I? Where am I? <laughs> what time is it? I just want to see your message. I was like, fuck, let me call him. See if he's outside. You know what I mean? No, I was yeah. mad, yo. <laughs> I'm glad you figured this out. <laughs> yeah. There's an impromptu recording in my crib. <laughs> yeah. It's tough on Mondays. Mondays is it's hard, it, man. Traffic, everything is rough. Yeah, yeah. But this weekend was busy too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we going like three years now. Not missing a not missing a week. Yeah, steady. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be like a podcast. It's pretty record. fucking good, yo. I don't know. It's not too fucking bad. Wait, where's the button I want? It's not easy. I'll tell you that. It's, a, it's, it's becoming like a real personal game to me to not to not miss the week. <laughs> Yeah, now, tomorrow, now it's so deep tomorrow into it. Been, tomorrow would have been no way, no yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. It being Halloween and everything. Yeah. You doing anything tomorrow night? The the night of Halloween? I'm trying to put this podcast out. Oh, you working? I'm working. Yeah. I'm gonna be trick or treat. I got my prowler costume. Mm. I'm gonna be the prowler. Yeah, I'll be trick or treating with the kids. 
That's why maybe tomorrow night I'll find something to do if I'm not working again. Mm. Chilling. Oh, they still trick or treat outside? Yeah, out here. Yeah, they do. They do? Not so much in Queens. We was driving around at the haunted houses, yo. They go crazy with the decorations. Oh, that's love. If you got time, get lost in the neighborhood. Just fucking do some laps. You're going to see some wild shit. That's love. <laughs> Yeah, they don't really do that in Queens as much. Yeah, nah, it's not really so much of a thing. Nah, people go. One of my, uh, one of the dudes I work with, he decks his whole shit out. I think my wife got the video. Uh, his shit was like off the hook, yo. Like he got like thirty different fucking figurines in his yard. He got the fog machine going. He got lights. He got music. He recreated. He did. He painted the ET bike. Got an ET doll. He got all that shit. He got all. This shit is fucking crazy. Wow. My kids were like, how does he sleep at night? Because they're all like laughing and shit. It's crazy clowns. It's the <laughs> it clown. It's Beetlejuice. It's Freddy Krueger. And they're all like, rah, rah, rah. how does he sleep? <laughs> it's making so much noise. Because of him. Look at what the neighbors got to look at. Right. Uh, <laughs> I hate being his neighbor, boy. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Fuck out of here, yo. I deal with him at work. They got to live with him. <laughs> Imagine having a scared kid. It was in the dope house. seeing. It was dope seeing. Like he put in a lot. Of, I asked him too today. I was like, "Yo, how long does it take you to bring all that shit down?" He was like, oh, "Like about a week or two. A week to or take two. it all down." <laughs> he does it for Christmas too. I don't know. I know he's real big into Halloween because I remember last year him talking about it, and this year when he was talking about it, I said, "I'm gonna pass by. I want to see how fucking crazy you get." It's the wildest shit I seen somebody put in their house, like on their property. Wow. That light bill's gotta be insane. Great. That's mo that's the first thing my wife said. <laughs> she said, What the fuck is he paying Con Ed, yo? Like, yo? Yo, look at this shit. He's paying a mortgage to Con Ed, boy. He said the night before, the Saturday night, the 80 degree. I'm gonna keep saying that, the 80 degree Saturday, because every Saturday we had for like eight weeks was a, a downpour. The Saturday night, he said he had a big party. He had the projector out and he had scary movies playing in the backyard on his projector, and there was a big party like inside. Wow. And I said, damn, that's fire, yo. I said, next time you do one of those, let me know. Right. I'll, I'll come see y'all fucking, see how people hanging out. Yo, he must be, his house must be lit up on a Con Ed chart somewhere. It's wild, like, right? Like, taxing uh, on the grid and shit. <laughs> Absorbing all that shit. Like, bling, bling, First bling, place to bling, get browned bling. out, right? They brown this shit out. Jeez. That's what's up, though. I've seen, yeah, like, the Christmas like it out here. Uh, I haven't seen the Halloween joints like that in Queens. People don't really, mm -hmm. like, that's, and that spirit is, uh, yeah, uh, it's fading. It's fading. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Happy yeah, Halloween, sure. folks. I hope yeah, you guys. Well, hopefully you had a good time. Got some candy. We, I couldn't trick-or-treat when I was a kid. My mom was in here for that shit. But I was trick-or-treating when I was a kid in the Bronx. We was trick-or-treating in the building. I would go, my building had six floors and the building across the street had five. And each floor had like four or five apartments. So we was good. So we would do my building. We'd go across the street, do their building. I couldn't do it. Two, so much. two three hours, we back in the crib. I couldn't do it so much candy. as a kid, but in my teen years, when I was a little bit more defiant, yeah, I ran around from building to building. But as a kid, oh, my teen years, no, nah, I wasn't trick or treating. I was just walling out, throwing eggs and shit. Oh, I had to catch up. We threw eggs too. Some of them mm. were boiled. That's <laughs> fucked up. Nah, Isn't it softer like that? <laughs> nah, if you get hit with a boiled egg, son, that yeah. shit hurt. Yeah, and is it soft? With the, don't take the shell. Mm. The shell, the shell, crack your muff. Yeah. <laughs> Crack it some, you think you gotta think about it coming fast. <laughs> Boop. Especially like you, a bullet. Especially Boop. if you're not expecting it to to be a boiled egg. <laughs> As opposed to a regular egg. A regular egg, you think it's just gonna pop, explode. Yeah, 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 yeah it's nothing. Yeah, you don't nah, feel it. That motherfucker hit like a little rock. Boom. Ooh, yeah, you gotta make sure you hit the hit the body. <sighs> you wanna take somebody out some shit. You get a concussion off that shit. Bing! Yo. Not allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> I wasn't doing those kind of things. <laughs> Not me. Don't do it. Remember one year, bro, we was walking down. I never forget this. We still tell the story. I was walking down. It was like it was me and a few of my friends because I had I had my block where like most people hung out, and you had the kids that like you know that were on other blocks and stuff, right? But they didn't really had no muscle like that, and that was always like my running thing, like. <laughs> I used to make comments about their section in the neighborhood. It's like, oh, you, all right, you guys are like my my nobleman. You know what I mean? Here he, here he. I used to hate that shit, but <laughs> but so we coming we coming across the corner one time, right? And they lined up on the other side of the thing, right? Because. 
they, that's, that was like their hangout. So they see us on the other side. And it was like the OK Corral or some shit. <laughs> Everybody had eggs on them. We, we all oh, lined up shit. like six, seven deep, 14 of us, both sides. And like, oh boy, sees me, calls me out. He's like, yo, ah, ah, talks his shit. Mm. And I'm like, my man had it. And at the time, it was really hard to get eggs because they wasn't selling yeah, eggs and teas. Start, yeah, they yeah. stopped doing like that two shit. two days before, they started like winding that shit down. Yeah, they want to check our ID and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yo, we yo, we launched. It was like a good five, ten minutes. He was yeah, launching he was shit. Eggs. <laughs> it was fun, though. It was fun. You know what I mean? Good times. Good times. Good times. Old New York. That's definitely old New York. That was during like gang initiation time too. So it was like you had always had to be careful on that side because, you know, if you, anybody who who's uh, if you had to put on work or you were getting jumped in, whatever, it was happening that night or mm-hmm. those like nights, or whatever yeah, the yeah. crime, whatever. So definitely Halloween used to be like I don't remember people weren't going to school on Halloween back in the day. Mm-hmm. It was it's Halloween and what was the motherfuckers f- getting sliced in the face for shit. Right. Getting the book 50. You had to go to hell. You had to go to school. Mm-hmm. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That was a t- parents. If you, if you came with soft, that, that you was, was keeping them home. That was when I really learned head on a swivel. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard motherfuckers, like motherfuckers in junior high school getting sliced, I said, wait, He's catching what? that buck 50 Halloween, uh, boy. I said, what? Head on a swivel. Was it, and, it's, and it was a senior, senior, it wasn't senior cut. What was a freshman... What was the thing we had? Freshman. What was the thing where they we beat up the freshmen? What day was that called? Freshman Friday, right? Was it Freshman Friday? The first Friday of the year. They're supposed freshman to jump year? all the freshmen. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Freshman Friday. Freshman Friday. Yeah, I remember that first Freshman Friday. They tried to I make think it somebody tried it. Yeah. I think somebody tried it. And I was like, like mm. yeah, if you think I'm going to let, let mm. somebody beat me up, yo, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. man. You got to relax. It's going to be a rough night for everybody. Man. But Halloween was one of them days, man. You had to be careful, bro. Yeah. You had to be careful. Everybody came out with their shit. Head on a swivel. That was one of the years. That's one of the days you could you could wear a mask. Nobody was saying nothing mm-hmm. to you. You know Walk what I mean? in the store with a mask on. Uh, yeah. Dudes oh getting God. robbed. <laughs> Tough times. <laughs> That's when I learned about the, the ghost face mask. The scream shit. Mm. That shit was popping in the hood. When it first came out? Yeah. yeah before before Scream made it a thing. It was it was that mask and a Jason mask. That was yeah, that was like every that shit was a twelve dollar mask. Facts. That was the cheapest mask. Yeah, it was that and the, the glow in the dark Jason mm-hmm. mask. That yeah. bullshit five dollar, those are the cheapest masks all to right. get. Everybody had that all. Everybody had that shit. Yeah, facts. <laughs> We was doing all the fancy, <laughs> fancy costumes nah. and shit. Now everybody's cosplaying for Halloween, yo. What was just straight costume <laughs> what designers? What was the best costume at the, the Halloween party? Besides your your Bane outfit. No, I mean, <laughs> besides my Bane shit. What'd your partner dress up as? She didn't go. Oh, for this one. For the Halloween party you just went to. Oh, uh, she went as Catwoman. Oh, okay. I was, you know, and I think there was a... Uh, 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 Magnificent that was there. Yeah, yeah. The best costume I've seen for Halloween, period, in my life. Oh, you saying all time? All time was the my, my somebody when Magnificent first came out. The what's that movie? Magnificent. Is it called Magnificent with uh, with, the, with Angelina the, Jolie? Yeah, yeah, the big the black yep. wings. Yep. Somebody did it at Webster's Hall. Oh yeah, and had wings that spanned oh, like twenty shit. feet. <laughs> and like it hit a button and the whole shit just came out. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. That's like cosplay, yo. Yo, that shit was fire. That's, fucking, son. that's Hollywood stunt double shit. Yo, yeah, she must have spent thousands, <laughs> thousands of dollars on God that. God damn. But son, when she hit her shit, she shut it down. Whole wings came out. Uh, it was big, yeah. son. It was like whoosh. <laughs> yo, imagine that's she's fire. on the stage at she won uh, the thing that night. The yeah. best costume. She's oh, on the stage. Shit. And I hadn't nobody, I hadn't seen it. So they was like, oh, and the winner, Magnificent. And she comes out. <laughs> They have the elevator platform and she hit the thing and as she's coming up, her wings is like expanding. Oh, and like, this shit. shit is massive, dog. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, this somebody sick. was magnificent. That was pretty dope. It was a Beetlejuice. juice. That was fire. I feel like Beetlejuice juice. Beetle juice is a classic. Classic. Wig, paint. Yeah. Can't beat it. Um, the cat woman, I think, was fire. Her outfit was fire. Uh, at the other party, the other Halloween party, I would say. Tina, I think Tina Turner was good. Tina Turner was pretty fly. Mm-hmm. That shit was good. Uh, have you been to a Halloween party yet? Nah. <laughs> Real family, man. Miss Style. This is Miss Style. <laughs> you want to share that story? Some bullshit happening. I don't know how much time we got. What the fuck? Should I tell that story? Some yeah, bullshit. Some how much do I want to tell? The cyberbullying? Cyberbullying Sunday? I think it's a good some conversation to have. Bullshit. Especially for us as content creators. <clears throat> Because we kind of like expose our loved ones, 
to yeah. the internet. Mm-hmm. You know, by creating content. Because now people are are looking for you, especially if you say something that's like offensive. You know what I mean? I was telling you, Flip tells a story about a fan breaking into his house and shit. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's like scary. You know what I mean? Wild. You're a stranger. That's a wild thing. But like, yeah, that's my thing you experience. Even though it's not, <laughs> it's not because of the content we're creating, but still. <laughs> I'm glad I could laugh now about it. Because when that shit was happening, that shit was not funny. None of this shit is funny for a second. <laughs> I fucking Sunday morning, my only day off. I wake up to like three smacks to the face. Cow, cow, I was like, cow. what the fuck is going on, yo? I, like all I, I heard, heard it in Queens. All I hear is screaming. To, what the fuck is this? Who the up. fuck is this? What the fuck is going on? I'm like, what the fuck is going on, yo? I don't fucking know. I'm still, I'm barely coherent. <clears throat> Apparently, I mean, uh, I made some comments on a page that showcased women. To me, I like to talk shit. Mm. To me, I see something, I'm going to talk shit about it. Mm. And some somebody, some random person decided to tag my wife mm. under the comments I was making <clears throat> under these women being showcased. <clears throat> Out of nowhere. So that's what, that's, what, that's what she wakes up to Sunday morning. So I had to wake up to the backlash of that shit. Mm. So I'm just like, God damn. So she's like, who the fuck is this? Why they tagging me in this shit? You fucking know these people? I'm like, yo, I still don't know what the fuck is going on. Word. Yeah, but she was telling me like, yeah, it was just random people that they 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 went after anybody that commented and they did the same shit. But my wife took it as like, she's about to uncover some deep, dark secret that I had. Like, she was finding out that I was cheating on her, and that shit blew up out of control. And I'm like, yo, who the fuck are these people? I didn't know what the fuck was going on. It was just whack fighting over, like, nonsense. You internet I was like, bags. this is crazy. I'm like, this is really like cyberbullying, because that's what it was. When I finally, like, got some sense and, like, said, let me see what the fuck is going on. I looked at it. It was just them, like, going after anybody that made a comment. Oh, how dare you? You have a wife. You're despicable. You're disgusting. It was all like 19, 20 year old girls doing this shit. They spent the weekend doing this shit. I said, oh my God, this is crazy. I was just pissed off. I was fighting over this shit. You miserable little fuckers. I like, oh, these are fucking strangers online fucking around. You're not going to take, you really think I'm out here fucking cheating and shit? I was just mad at that. <laughs> In the video. Dude. But I could see, like, when after like the fucking hours of fighting, when she's like, yo, I'm fucking, that's embarrassing, yo. That's yeah. mad embarrassing to fucking wake up and I'm looking at this shit and I'm like, that I understand. That I could fucking talk to you. We could have a discussion about that. But waking up to three smacks to the cow, face, cow, that's not cow. the way to start the conversation, yo. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, I got to show a lot of restraint, man. And I fucking go overboard too, yo. And I don't like that shit. I don't want to be in that state of mind. That shit really fucked me up, yo. Thank God we was able to laugh about it before we started recording this shit, yo. Because that shit was fucked up. Oh, you're going to make it hot for me. What are you doing? Listen, I need this number. If you, uh, <laughs> as you sit here and tell this story. Yeah, you see? Uh, Let's reach out to Domestic people. abuse is no laughing matter. It's not funny, bro. If you're being nothing abused about this was funny or mishandled at home, there's a hotline you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline, 1 800 799 7233, because you deserve something better. Oh. Nah, yeah, it was whack, yo. Yeah. That shit, that shit ruined my something. Yo, fucking weirdos on the internet. Cyberbullying, yo. Cyberbullying. Ruining like, people's this, households. This is what's gonna happen if we fucking get popping. This fucking asshole's gonna start trying to tear yo, us down for no reason. Yo, fans definitely do that. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, this is fans to be in your business. I was like, was this like a taste of getting canceled? Did, I almost, fact, did I almost get? Did I get canceled? Almost. Is that is that what that was? Almost. Yo, they tagging my wife. Leave your husband. He's unfaithful. I'm like, what the fuck is going Leave on? Leave him. <laughs> I'm like, yo, who are these people? She's like, you tell me. You don't know them. You don't know them. I'm like, oh my God. I wish I knew who it was. I that's like fucked them up. Yo. As a person that's like I, that's still dating, like when I when, I, when I, if I'm dating somebody and they're really like married to social media, like they have to post, they have to check X, Y, Z. That's wow. Like I was riding around with somebody the other day and she was just like so lost in these comments on the internet with, you know, 
people who it sucks. It's like you detach from reality. Yeah. It's like let that shit to re, to me, that's not real. It's not. That's why I got like so bugged out about it. I'm like, yo, I like talking shit. I'm not on the internet searching for anything. I'm not trying to make new friends. I don't give a fuck. I see something. It's usually the first thing that pops in my head. I type in, I keep it moving. I don't care if I people comment. You know how many something. times I comment on people's pages and then people start arguing? They have fights within my, my, my response. And you walk away. And I don't say another fucking word. Sometimes. And I'm like, yo, look at the these people, burn. yo. But I don't be even saying nothing flagrant. Yo. I'll say something and people be like, oh, he's being sarcastic. No, he's not. He's being serious. And then they'll argue their own points. And I'm like, look at these two assholes, yo. Nah, listen. And I'm, nobody gives a fuck I'm about I'm here this. for it. I just be on the side of the wall. <laughs> that shit just be wild, yo. Know? I never thought I'd experience that shit. That shit was crazy. Sometimes you create a little discord. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, fuck that. I said, yo, tell fuck you, this. If y'all screenshot X, Y, Z, bro, I'm, I'm screenshotting the whole interaction. Yo, my wife showed me. She's like, look, they got they got me on, it was a TikTok thing. And they found her on Instagram sending her fucking screenshots. That's your husband, by the way, in the comments. I was like, oh my God, yo, this is crazy. They went mad hard, yo. That's what bugged me out. They didn't even know you. Strangers from like Texas, Boston, Strangers. all over. Just like they, a group of fucking girls. Because it was girls. It was like 19, 22 year olds. And those could wild. be fake profiles. It was why, yeah. It was, I was just it like, be, yo. It could all be one person with four accounts. I was like, yo, this is, this is crazy. It could be one person with four accounts that sees a whole bunch of horny guys it on shut this page. Down, it shut down the whole page. And that was it. That was what that they were trying page, to do. That page was showcasing women. That's, that nigga, that motherfucker put a post and said, yo, party's over. Like, they got us. Like, That's I'm it. not doing this shit no more, yo. <laughs> I can easily... He must have had a million fucking DMs in his shit. People blowing his shit up. Like, yo, I don't need this shit. I can easily see somebody go on the page and be like, <laughs> this page objectifies women. We got to get this shut down. <laughs> this is too much. See, the page was... A bunch of women walking around in bikinis. It was models, yeah. And then the, the voice being played the was... The audio was like detailing cars. <laughs> so it'd be like, uh, this vehicle, German engineering, mm -hmm. yeah. with big bubble uh, mm -hmm. lights and round tires. The whole time just looking at a girl yeah, yeah. walking down the, the runway. She's showing her ass and tits and shit. It I was, can definitely see somebody who's losing their mind It was genius. That. I can see that. They were like, oh, no. They're comparing women to cars. It was genius. These men are over here lying to their wives. I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, that's It funny. is funny. Like, <laughs> that's funny. It's not going to stop being gonna, funny. Somebody was saying that on another podcast, too. Some of these guys be out here wilding. This lady said that this guy jumped in her, into her DMs and was like, no, and was like, oh, you know, I just want to fuck. That's wild. That's wild, right? So she was like, all right, the first time he said it, she was like, you know, he was a stranger. She kind of like blew it off, whatever, like, you know, because she don't know the dude. Mm -hmm. And he liked a couple more pictures. Then he came back again, like a few weeks later, like, yo, you just, your ass is so fat. When can we hook, to, when, when can we hook up? I just want to fuck. And she was like, it was just so oh fucking God. rude that she screenshotted it and then sent it to his wife. Because then on his page... He had a picture oh, of him and his wife. shit. And it was like, them two lovied up you and see, shit. See, I think my wife thought I was doing shit like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, That's why you and woke I'm up. And I'm just like, yo, cow, are you cow, crazy? Cow. I'm like, yo, are you bugging, yo? Listen. That shit had me fucked up, yo. I don't send no DMs. I don't be doing none of that shit. So she sent the screenshot to the wife and shit. And then the wife initially didn't believe her. And then so she scanned all the shit like, oh, what? Shit. This is it. I don't know this guy. He's hitting me up on the don't rando. And then all of a sudden, like he hit her back and apologized and shit and DMs. But, but yeah, that's a that's what that's a is a wild. Yo, to be doing some right. wild shit, you had to come for you, boy. That's just crazy. That shit is crazy. But it's something like yo, especially as you making content, people people do wild shit, son. Like people are gonna send messages and 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 just straight make up shit. Man. Like, like yeah, I feel like you you have to have if you're dating. I can understand, like, even, like, with celebrities, when you really think about it. If you're dating a celebrity, if you're dating somebody who's making content, somebody that interacts with large amounts of people, mm -hmm. it's like, you have to, in a lot of ways, trust your partner because people can say whatever the fuck they want to say. Where? Like, oh, yeah, I was with this nigga last night. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Speaking of, you heard about the Dwight Howard shit? We got time for that? That's off the chain. 
<laughs> I love the the Mace and Cam take. Yeah. Yo, I, I've never seen their show. Just the clips be getting me off, yo. Them shit yeah. is funny shit. Pause. No. Them, shit, <laughs> them clips be fucking crazy, son. Hey, that clip I sent that. that clip I sent you with Mace, what he said? The funny shit about that was what they don't show it. But Play it's what Cam it. put your, said. Put your phone volume to the fifty percent. Yeah, my bad. Right before Cam says his has hit. It's Cam time for some financial oh, news. The Daily Show is a series. This is the DJ Envy update. We talk about that later. <sighs> right before this, Cam goes, you know, whatever Dwight does, it's none of my business. Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. <laughs> this is what May says. Now. This yeah, this is where I'm going to start. Before I talk about Dwight, before we talk about <laughs> Your anything, disclaimers. Your disclaimers. Where is he going? I don't know what got the disclaimer this yeah, week. He was witty, this but dude, I didn't know he was this funny. His disclaimers is crazy. Oh, <laughs> Be careful. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I know we got to stop bro. telling Yo, people, I don't, like, I don't care what you do you. on your own time. Nah, hold on. Yeah, man, man. Roasting my <laughs> own person sign, this shit is horrible. Don't make that shit rhyme. But yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> think about this. <laughs> Harlem. Them Harlem dudes is funny. So Harlem and Brooklyn. Ain't, Brooklyn niggas start roasting you. Really hurt your feelings. Mm. Going. I don't know what got the disclaimer. This was this dude, this disclaimer is crazy. Be careful. <laughs> yo, let me tell you something, Can't ladies and gentlemen. Yo, we yeah, gotta CD stop guy, telling yo. people uh, I don't care what you do on your own time because <laughs> we do care. We Cam Cam is lying if he tell you. He, yo, I, I don't Cam care what said, you do on your Cam own just time. Said, I don't care what you and do. And then stat nah, follows up. She's laughing, son. And women, you got to stop. For real, put the camera on me. For real. <laughs> we got to stop Cam telling died, niggas died. what you do in your Cam own personal time. <laughs> Has Every nothing to do Cam, with me. It does, <laughs> my nigga. If you if you caught, come on, man. Yeah, it, it does matter. It does matter. That, it does matter. That shit is funny. He said, oh, "We do oh, care. We do care." Play some more. Playing? What yeah. he, said? he starts breaking that shit down. Those he, are the lies that are going <laughs> on in society. <laughs> we tell people it don't matter, but behind <laughs> your back, it matters. Yo. And that's what we got to first oh, start off by saying. Like, you hear you hear stats saying this, because what people do in their bedroom, that's between them. <laughs> that's facts. Not necessarily true, <laughs> but I understand. I understand. <laughs> Is that, you, you get what I'm saying? Because you're telling them it don't matter, but then it does matter. Like and anybody whole, watching this podcast. knows it does <laughs> yeah, matter. They pop, yeah, they Even to people <laughs> they, they, they <laughs> participate, <laughs> it matters. Because people will say, oh, it don't matter. And so they find out. They're out in them, so it matters. You know, and when it comes down to making money off the story, it matters. When it comes down to who dating you, it's going to matter. When it comes down to it, we're gonna, we go. look at Cam. But it's good to camera on Cam. When it comes down to if you're going to be in the locker room with them, it matters. Because there's about 30 teams that did not sign Dwight Howard because it matters. So See, let, let's playing. dispel that. That's the uh, yeah, first thing we got to dispel. Why? The is second his, thing I is that is consensual. I thought it was performance. It's never consensual if you surprise somebody. <laughs> 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 That's the wrong button. Hold on. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, so it's not consensual. But that's true. You can't surprise somebody. All right, third leg. What's up? Yeah. Yo, Cam fell out. Yeah. That's a Cam yeah, out. Is, and um, I don't be mean in the laugh. Sometimes I shit, make yo. myself laugh, but it's not funny. But it is funny. <laughs> yo, he said it's consensual. So just, <laughs> just think. You're somewhere. You're with somebody. <laughs> And somebody walk out of the side door with a leprechaun outfit on. It's not long of consensual. Yo. Yeah, it's not just consensual. Funny, I didn't know it's he was not this funny. It's not consensual. It's not taking this long for him to be this funny. For me to realize it. 
I feel like I, Mace, Mace. I always knew Cam was funny. I know Mace is always. If you go back and listen to his rap, he just never showcased it. He was charming and witty and shit, but not really funny. I mean, I, I mean, if you go back, Mace has always been his wit has always been funny to me. He's um, witty as shit, but I never is? took him as like fucking. What's what Mace is like? Going off, Mason Beth, no. rise was it rise to the top, Mason Beth? No, 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 no. What's Mason? I haven't heard a Mace song in so long. Mace is hilarious, but speaking on this um, Harlem world, Let's look at Harlem world. Speaking on Dwight Howard, so the story is he he linked up with some dude on on the internet, like a male escort, right? And then he had somebody jump out the closet on him. He was trying to link up. He said the he set it up to link up with the the escort dude, but then mm. as they're in the this is all fucking what I'm hearing from everybody else saying that he brought Bitch. somebody else with him, yeah. and that the dude was like, "Yo, I'm busy. This is not what I signed up for." Yeah, and then after that is like I don't know. So Joe Joe had cleaned it up a little bit because Joe's. Mm-hmm. He did the research. I'm not going to go behind it. I'll just take his word on it. <laughs> no research over here. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know who it is. They got oh, a full, shit, they got a full staff. <laughs> Can't say to nobody. Right. So he was saying that the, they had sent text messages to each other early on that year or early on that saying that, hey, you know, I'm going to have somebody else there. He didn't necessarily say the situation or when it was going to happen, but it was mentioned, you know what I mean, that there was going to be somebody else there. But they're having a the whole person jump out the closet shit. That shit is just weird to me. In That's a leather gun suit too. That's wild. That's crazy. You you you, you, you freaky freaky. <laughs> freaky freaky. Yo, but yo. I think it's funny. Sh- shout out to hip hop though because I'm mad that we talking about this. Why? I'm not mad cuz I just think is I just thought the Mace and Camera shit was the funniest thing we got. get busy, spray so much easy. Girls get dizzy. <laughs> Makes my toe. One thing about Harlem world, we all got dough. 98 Tahoe, Yo, Tommy and the Roscoe. Is, this case is I'm ever chased by Donnie Brasco. Why you over there looking at me? Why you don't like me? Cause I'm mad fly and icy And why you can't satisfy your wifey And if it That's wasn't for this bad you boy exposure now. CDTV is really that I, that I know you Now me and Blink like, floating these, these guys He's he's always been that way. Like Mace has always said like slick shit, and that's why Cam Cam come because Cam talks that about it too. Shit is funny. Shit. Cam gets a lot of his style. Like when he talk about oh yeah, he was always said like, yo Mace was always like you know somebody that because Mace was the rapper. Mm-hmm. Cam was like his his go getter. You know what I mean? And then when Cam started rapping, Jimmy became his go getter. You yeah. feel me? So Mace talks. Cam talks about looking up to Mace rapping and getting that early style. If you listen to early Cam, Cam was on some real. That yeah, horse and Cam, carriage. Cam always said that. Cam always said he looked up to Mace. He was a little right. older than him too. So right. yeah, I can see I can see the admiration. So you see Cam's funny shit. But I just I'm just shocked that he could be this funny. Cause they consistently with these fucking clips. I I've never seen one of their full episodes, but they're fucking funny as shit. These clips that they be dropping, they be fucking hilarious, son. They're good friends too. It's this, That's what it is. Yeah, yeah good go back and forth. There's a, a good rhythm. There's a video of because I think Cam and Jimmy are having a little like static right They've now. They've been off, yeah. Right. So Mace has been running around Harlem making fun of Jimmy. <laughs> 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 yo, Mace got video Mace with the dipset chain on. Like, uh. oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love the pettiness of these Harlem dudes, yo. Oh shit, yo, big shout out to Harlem though. But yo. I'm I'm really happy that we can have this conversation um before we go into halftime here. And like there was no I feel like twenty years ago, this should have been years too ago gay for it to be like, yo, discussing hip hop. Not even a discussion. Period. And then for them yeah. to have a joke that to 
They're not making fun of his sexuality, just more so the situation. The situation is wild. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's cool. That's like that's like a good progression from <laughs> from where we were. You know what I mean? As far as the, the super homophobic shit, yeah, he was yeah, doing, yeah. back in the nineties and shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, because when I watched it, I was like, I was surprised of these two dudes too to even be talking yeah, on these topics because yeah, yeah. these guys have always historically been on yeah, some like, yo, yeah. oh, nah. I mean, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then nobody they, said nothing they, crazy. They invented no homo. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, Cam didn't say too much. <laughs> Cam just laughed. You Cam know what just say, he like, I got a cousin that's gay. That's yeah, his go-to that, line. That's, that's his go-to line. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yo, big shout out to them. Yo, um, we doing bad I'm happy for them. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, wait, where am I? Yeah. This is Los Pits. We gonna play Bad Bunny for the rest of the year. <laughs> This is my favorite song off the album, officially. Sabes que va a hablar sucio, si te no cuarenta, te lo dije que me hacía a mí yo entre los treinta, me puse infa y factura. This song is gonna be like my soundtrack. No te das cuenta, todos los premios están en mi nombre como un café de talbo. Yo no uso Travis, yo ando con las babbo, los dolores de cabeza, me hace más fuerte el salto. Yo no ando con una side bitch, yo no pongo una side club, pero por si acaso. Nah, yo no soy títer, mi amor, no me hagas caso. A mi mami le prometí a los quince que jamás me iba a buscar un caso. Solté la libre y me fui a conquistar el mundo. Y en el maratón del pavo me gustaba ser segundo. Pudiera estar rapeando de temas profundos, pero llegan los cheques y como que me confundo. Wow, en la sota. Si me envía un día en el otro día te lo hundo El otro día, soy fantameo Pero si estamos en la disco te lo pongo aquí Mañana te llevo a correr por aquí Chingando en el bote, me sube el kit Oh please, dale man, siga ahí, siga así Que si tú quieres te lo pongo aquí Ya me está haciendo efecto lo hecho de tequi Los Philly y la Perky, un quickie Te voy a llevar pa' los beats Yo si estoy en la movie, pregunta a la Brad Pitt <laughs> y está cabrón porque Mi trabajo alto todo está Más abajo te quiere ver caer la gente Y a mí sin cojones me tiene yo pichado Pero a veces cuando uno está bien loco Uno no está cabrón en la disco Donde sea uno se pone a pensar por un minuto Por todos los problemas Periódico de ayer por favor no me estorba Ahora estas charras te mandan porque me vieron en Forbes ya cogiste tu sonido, espero que te conforme. Yo no hay más nada. Ay, lo mío no fue regalado. Te estoy matando desde que me bajé de la guagua de los mantecados. Prende la radio, te dejo un recado. Me cago en tu madre y la de tu abogado. Sin ti no me va bien, me va fenomenal. De ti no me acuerdo, no vengan a llamar. Tu amiga la fea, me lo puedes mamar. Pide más botella, vamos a celebrar. Nada me va a tumbar, tengo el mundo entero encima, ya me duele la lumbar, pero la luz que me guía no me para de alumbrar. Va por el lascivo, se tienen que acostumbrar. Ahora los hombres lloran, sí, pero sin pararle facturar. Papá Dios me ayuda sin tener que madrugar. Pero wey, fuck, cuidado que ya están amaneciendo. De que copa y le ven, yo veo la juca y de una me prendo. Baby, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Si me chingas bien, jurao que me lo aprendo. Callao, nadie nos está viendo. Si tú te atreves, yo te la pongo aquí. Mañana te llevo a correr y aquí. Chingando en el bote, me sube el ki. Oh, please, dale más, sigue ahí, sigue así. Que si tú quieres, te la pongo aquí. Ya me está haciendo efecto, la chata está aquí. Los Philly y la Perky, un quick. Te voy a llevar pa' los beats. Yo si estoy en la movie, pregunta a los Brad Pitt. ¿Dónde están las mujeres solteras, las mujeres solteras? ¿Dónde están? ¿Y dónde están las casadas con la mano arriba? Las mujeres casadas con la mano arriba, que esas son las que me gustan. Oye, no, 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 fuera de vacilón. Yo quiero que todo el que la está pasando, cabrón, todo el que la está pasando bien con la mano arriba. Todo el que está puesto para hacer dinero, sin envidiarle nada a nadie, con la mano arriba. Los que viven su vida sin importar un carajo de los demás con la mano arriba, bien por derecho, por el coro que dice como, ay, si tú te atreves, yo te lo pongo aquí. Porque no te llevo a ver el Jackie, chingando en el bote, me subo el ki, oh, please, dale más, sigue así, sigue así, que si tú quieres, ya. Tato, 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 te estás activo. Que sigan pasando la cabrón. Los que sean conmigo, que me dejen saber, que le tiren a sencillo, se monten en el sprint que está afuera. Los peores ahorita, oye, jodiendo, jodiendo, se jodiendo, deja eso. Shout out to the Bad Bunny. So I got lucky, yo, I was able to get tickets. 
Oh God. That was stressful, that registration shit. I texted my homegirl. I was like, yo, what's up? Because we were supposed to get the email on like the Tuesday that they go on sale. Sky. I don't get no email. It's like, yo, I ain't get the email yet, I yo. Text what's up? Early. I text her early, like 6 o'clock in the morning, son. Yo, what's up? You got an email? Uh, it's 6 a.m. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm up already, so fuck everybody. I know everybody. you are. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I said, yo, what's up? You got the email? She was like, uh, yeah, I got it. I'm going to be in the lobby. Tickets go on sale at 1. So she's going to be part of the, the opening shit. And she goes, but I got a meeting at 1 o'clock for work. I'm not going to be able to be on my phone. And I said, what the fuck's going to happen? Because it was supposed to be like a backup thing. Like if I can't get in, she could buy tickets for us. Or if she can't get in and I can, I'll buy tickets for her. All right. So, so I'm like, so what does that mean? Like you can't buy the tickets? And are, she's like, no, nah, I'm going to see you if do I that one either. I didn't get, it was like a lottery. Oh. So I didn't get the email for the lottery. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. She got it. So she's she has the opportunity to buy the tickets. Gotcha. So I'm like, oh shit. So I'm just like, yo, let me know what you're gonna do. Right. Like I'm <laughs> I'll let you know if I get an email. She could have sent you the email and have you do it. That's what ended up happening. Okay. She was like, I don't wanna take a chance where I can't get it. So I'll give you all the info. This is my budget. If you can, get me tickets. I said, I right, bet, no doubt. I'm I'm trying to stay within that budget too. I'm not trying to I already did floor seats, Yankee Stadium. I'm never gonna have that experience again. So yeah. I'm not I'm not thirsty for floor seats at the Barclays. Right. I just wanna be in the building. <clears throat> sure enough, she gets in. No bullshit. I get all the info. She gives me all her info, her login. One o'clock comes, boom, I'm in. 7,500 people in front of me. Wow. I'm in the queue. Okay. I'm like, holy shit, the Barclays holds 20,000 people. Okay. If these motherfuckers buy three tickets each, which I'm trying to buy, I'm trying to get three tickets. If they all buy three tickets each, it's sold out. I'm fucked. We're all fucked. They're not buying three tickets each. Yo, it gets down, it gets down, it's winding down. It takes like a half hour before I finally like get in. And the tickets are off the... It's expensive. The floor seats there were like $1,400. Woo! It was a lot. It was mad bread. And I'm like, I'm not doing well, that. What level you got? I got... You know what we was at for the 50 Cent concert? Yeah. I'm in one section behind us. Okay. How much and those go? tickets were like 540 each. What? Bread, son. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bread. I got it under 600. That's why. I was like... I 600 is like my cap. You said five forty each. Five forty. Yeah, so you paid fees a band. and everything. Each. Yeah, sixteen hundred. Oh my god. Well, Shorty's obviously she gonna pay me back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you going with wifey? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you just spent twenty four hundred dollars on tickets. Sixteen hundred. Are you thinking sixteen? You said five forty taxes and everything. Put you around six hundred dollars. No, Four no, people? that was tax and everything. That's the fees oh, and everything. Oh, okay. That okay. was everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That should still be two bands. Almost. No, three. It was yeah, like 16. I, I, I screenshotted all that shit. It was 16. It was 16 something. Per couple or per for the whole thing? No, for the whole thing. It was just three of us, I bought. And then my man's, oh, he ended up texting me. Yeah. Oh, I ended okay. up texting my man. He's going with his wife same night, and he got tickets like two rows in front of us. Okay, okay. I'm like, oh, that's fire. That shit looked out. Yeah. So I'm hyped. Gonna be a good time. He's Man. touring this album too, I'd imagine. Yeah, this is the one. It's gonna be awesome, yo. I'm hyped. You gonna pregame? You already booked parking? But uh, parking's already booked. This <laughs> fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, yo. <laughs> I told my man about it. He's that going to see. That's so on point, though. Yeah, that that's just gonna be a hundred. And I know, yo, park that shit up front, b. Leave my shit up front. I'm taking my keys. That's it. So I don't even got to wait on no fucking line. That's it. I'm not getting on that line again. You crazy? Pay that tip. <laughs> then I got to deal with 200 rowdy Puerto Ricans? Right. Nah, yo. Fuck that. Right. You going to get there early, go to the bar? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. That's the plan. Because you get there go early, to the bar, you, have to go. You, eat. you can get good VIP. Yeah. Eat, I'm gonna drink. I'm going to eat, drink, heavy, pre-game. walk to the fucking... You going to drink this like time? Like some incense? I don't know. I'm going to try not to. If I got enough... The beer's the, not too bad. 
And nah. you get a good size. Like if you already had some, if you already night, because you still gotta drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you already That's had a couple of drinks at the bar, I'm trying to drink at the bar before I get there. Beer's good maintenance. If I want to like have one, two. With me, I don't know I, the mixing of the the beer, the alcohol, and the other shit. It, I black out, man. Oh, wow. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I learned those lessons like the hard way. Okay, yeah, yeah. Where it's like I don't remember shit. And I'm like, it's not like I'm going crazy, but just the combination of everything is like the whole night gets fuzzy and I don't want I don't want that night to be like okay. a haze. Yeah. yeah I want to yeah. remember that night. Yeah, I'll okay. drink I'll drink my shit early. I'll drink water throughout the show and I'll be lit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the plan. The water be good. That's the plan. That'll hold me down. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna be screaming. Be screaming and when is it? Next year? April. Oh, he's a wow. Yeah, we got time. So you already booked parking for April? Parking. Book. <laughs> Early, son. Damn, $50. Right in front. Because the fucking truck. It's an oversized truck. They charged me an extra $20. Mm. Okay. That's why. And you got one like, it's like the same one we went to? I think it's the same one. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I'm telling you told your man about it? Front. One the man. one that's coming with his wife. Oh, to book the parking? Yeah. Nah, I should. You should. I'll text him. I told my man's about that park, book parking shit. He, at I'll first he was him. like, I sent him the app and anything. Yo, Parkway is your app. But he funny. He might, he might fuck around and take a cab. He might oh, do some shit like that. I mean, I'll text him. I'll give him, I'll give him, uh, I'll I saw, give him a heads up. I saw my boy does now. He'd be like, anytime he he goes someplace, he'd be like, yo, yeah, I went to thing. It's I, good, man. I booked the park. And the fact that you could cancel it like up to the hour, yo, with yeah. no fee or nothing, no that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. If I can find part, like, now nah, I know. If I get there early enough and I find parking, yo, guess what? I'm canceling this shit. Mm-hmm. It's Thanks. like a good peace of mind to have, Stay though. Say so 50. Yeah. Take that 50, put it in your Yeah, no account. fee or nothing. That'll go, that'll go for my wife's drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a good time. That's 500, yeah, no, though. Fun. But, yeah, it was bread, yo. Yeah. I was like, damn, this shit is expensive, son. That's that New York shit. Now, how you like? I like. I want to start um, flying in the cities to go to concerts. Yeah, I was about to pull something up. Look what these chicks uh, I saw. Look what they did. Let me, Damn, let me see if I find it. They oh. flew into a city. Yeah, because oh. they were talking about how expensive the New York show was. Yeah, you can fly into like a fly into like a. Hey, Houston. watch this! Watch this! Listen to what they did. All right. Bunny math is if you live in New York City. But then you'd buy tickets for Bad Bunny in Toronto. And in New York City, you're going to pay $800, $900, $1,000 for that shit for one ticket. But in Toronto, how much should we pay? $239. Who? $39. <laughs> That's free. That's free. That's, That's literally free. free. And we're going to take a trip, go Airbnbs, eat meals, drive up Toronto, shit. hot girl, yeah. Hot girl weekend. dollars hang out for the weekend. For the same price as one fucking ticket to go to Brooklyn? <laughs> to go to Brooklyn on the train? <laughs> Listen, no. she's... And you pay with in a they got their mind right, right? They got priority straight. Man. It's free. She said, "Hot like girl weekend." She said, "It's free." Two so. thirty. We gotta go see tickets. Bad Money for free Woo! when we go to Canada. That's Bad how they look at it. Math is. I mean, that's fine. Like that. Yeah, because if you're gonna pay, I feel like she, they're probably still gonna pay about a thousand dollars. It's probably a day. better experience. Yeah, but it's a better experience. Yeah, because it's a better. You spend the weekend now. Now you making it. Now you turning it into an event. My boy originally when I texted him. I was like, yo, you gonna try to get tickets? He's like, yeah, but he said he might do a Philly or Connecticut show just because they did it last year. The year they did, because they did the Yankee Stadium and they did one in Philly. And they said it was a dope. They spent the weekend in Philly and saw the Bad Bunny show. Philly's really they close. It, they yeah. turned it into an event. Philly's really close. So that always sounds good. But yeah, to do it like that. I mean, I wasn't, 600 was the limit, so. Big baller. Fuck it. Fuck it, yo. As, as much as I like the album, I'm probably only gonna. There's nothing else coming out that I'm looking forward to. It's the, it's the, it's the newest thing that provokes emotion. Yeah, the album means a lot to me already. <laughs> but going back to what you're saying about experience, like for instance, I would love to. Like I'd imagine Bad Bunny in Puerto Rico. Oh, I would love to do that. I told my homegirl that I would love to see him in Puerto Rico one yeah. time, yo. Like I'll like, pay a grip for that. Sexy Red is going to be in St. Louis. I was thinking about, like, you know, seeing people in their hometown. That's a trip, then. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a different energy. <laughs> yeah, way different energy. Yeah. That'd be kind of dope. Like how we saw 50 in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sit down and like soak up the fucking energy. It'd be good. Then you all, if he, could, you see, I would look for it. Like if he, oh, well, you've already seen him like twice. But Ooh. Bad Bunny, I saw him one well, time. Well, but you you about to see him twice. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. saying, it, does he do any shows in Puerto Rico? I don't be hip to it. He does. He does. My mom talk about it. Next time your mom, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's probably cheaper in Puerto Rico. I don't know that. I mean, because he wants the locals to be there. Because he seems like a, yeah, 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 a yeah, people's true, type. True. You know what I mean? And he he'll do wild performances for free. And he just won't promote it heavy, so he doesn't get the, the listening outside party. People. The listening party he had for this uh, album, it was at a coliseum in Puerto Rico where he invited like fifteen hundred fans, or like fifteen thousand fans. It was some shit like that, and they all. Got to listen to the album and he's there chilling and vibing with everybody. So, so you wouldn't so, hear about that out here, but locally. Locally, yeah, that's the thing. No, I would love to catch I would, I would do some shit yeah. like that. Yeah, the Bad Bunny fly. listening party. Oh, listen it, to the it, album and shit at first before everybody. While he's there, yeah, that's a fucking real listening party. Next time he has an event in Puerto Rico, he's like, yo, I'm going to text. I'm going to text my mom. He got to have something next summer. Got to. Got to. With the fucking. He just put an album out. Yeah, with the tour bro. and everything. You know what I mean? You go out there, you know, spend some time. I'm gonna find out. Make it a thing. Put like your put the concert in the middle of your trip. Dang. You know what I mean? I'd be, be, be fire. I'll be fire. I I, still, I travel a couple places now I'm for events. And it's like, yo, you know, when you get there, you have the traveling, right? And we normally travel where it's like travel, you sit, you don't do nothing. Mm-hmm. But as long as you have enough t- time, I don't want to get there, do the event, and fly out, because then it feels like work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have a couple days before, a couple days after, you know what I mean? Then you can like. You know what really, that reminds me of? What's that? When I used to go on the, the football trips, we would go on the away games. We would spend four days in the city and the big the big Giants game, that was like the focal point. But there was always other shit to get into. Right. Do you like, time to relax? One of my boys, he was into visiting celebrity grave sites. Wow. So every time we went to a city, he had a like, checklist of people he wanted to see. I remember when we was in Seattle. I said, I want to go with you. You saw Prince? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I saw Prince. I saw J- Jimi Hendrix and Bruce Lee. They're oh, buried yeah, in Bruce Seattle. We in went Seattle, in the yeah. same cemetery. Yeah, not so too far I, from each other, right? Yeah, like, like that's a trip to me. You know what I'm saying? Like That's <laughs> yeah, something I would have never did. I would have never thought of if I'm not fucking hanging out with this, this nutcase. They got a checklist of dead celebrities he wants to see. <laughs> but, <laughs> I go, but I go, yo, I'm never going to do this. So, yo, when you wake up, because he's the early bird, he, we call him Mother Hen because he course. was a designated driver. He didn't drink. We all fucking maniacs Those drinking. Those guys never drink. <laughs> we, <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, wait, Those guys wait. never drink. Of they course. Fucking... I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, early, no, checking great psycho Don't path, drink, yo. Room told, is clean. But he'll wake up. Yeah, bed was made and shit. Bed was made. I told him, I said, yo, wake me up. And he goes, I'm not waking you up. I'm leaving at nine. And I go, fuck. I'm not but, waking you up. But and I'm I was leaving saying, at nine. But I was set my alarm. What the fuck I look like? I just, wanna, I, just like, I just like knowing I could sleep without hearing the alarm. But I was like, fuck, because we drinking. We drinking till three o'clock in the morning. It's still like vacation. I'm like, yo, I'm hanging out. I don't want to stop to fucking do homework. But I do want to visit the grave. I want to see. Cause I'm like, who's over there? And he told me a couple people, but the uh, the Prince one, the Jimi Hendrix, and the Bruce Lee, those are the ones I, I remember. I feel like I said there was of, there was more, but those three I remember. Bruce Lee and his son are buried together. That's one of the, the big differences. See my guy friends and, and gal friends. You know, guys will tell you, "Yo, wake me up." Nah, I'm not doing that. Girls, oh okay, but and then really and then not they won't do, do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "No, I'm not doing. No, nah, I'm not doing. What? He's like he put his foot down. He's like, I'm already babysitting y'all. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I'm gonna like, wake you, you up, up, wipe your ass. Yeah, right? Fuck? It would have been too much. You paying me or some shit? Like, uh, I'm on he's driving too. too. Yeah, what the fuck. I know here. he's driving because I'm not driving that fucking van. <laughs> I am, I'm with him. Like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was dope. That's a cool trip. So, yeah, shit like that. It's cool, man. Keep yourself busy. Yeah, you, you can, you know, and in, the concerts be cheaper because Bad Bunny's not going to do $500 he's tickets in Puerto OD. Rico. I don't think he's going to OD like Nobody's going to go. Yeah, yeah, Because even if... There was look, shit on him. Even if you say... They shitting on him a little bit now with the New York tickets. I don't think it's sold out either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear. Yeah, it. it's, it's a lot of bread. It's a lot of bread. It might drop so the might, price. It might, they might drop. drop that price, yeah. <laughs> it's too much. It's, it's too much. much. It's too much. Yo, well, what if, what if it does sell out and... Your tickets triple in price. I'm going, bro. I'm not missing this. 
What? You already seen him. I don't care. So you mean if you turn your four hundred into twelve hundred? I don't care. You're not. You you're gonna let go of twenty four hundred dollars. I'm getting a twenty four hundred dollar experience for the low. You're bugging. <laughs> I made out. I'll good. take that twenty four hundred and go see him in Puerto Rico. Yeah. No, that's not a guarantee either. <laughs> I guess I'm watching that shit <laughs> in New York, in my city, in Brooklyn. I don't give a fuck. I will, y'all. I'll, hopefully. Hopefully my partner understands Because me I'm taking that bread I'm gonna get merch she I'm, gonna get, tell I'm me. gonna get the Brooklyn Bad Bunny fucking hoodie I don't Listen, give a fuck if we I'm wake up, money If we fly to Puerto Rico To see Bad Bunny That's way fire and, and we wake up that morning To go see him that afternoon And them tickets have quadrupled in price <laughs> Yo I'm selling those fucking tickets You selling the tickets <laughs> I'm looking at her like She gonna be like Babe Yo get so much the tickets are How much 2000 Oh that's not bad 2000 for two a piece. A piece? <laughs> nah, we selling these tickets. <laughs> His sell on that. Yo, what you mean? Nah, I, I shouldn't even be an argument. You know what I mean? Whoever I'm dating, like, whoever I was with me, that shouldn't even nah. be like, when you wake up, you should be telling me I'm going. you sold the tickets. I don't give a fuck. Like, yo, what happened? We not going? Nah, I sold them. Why? You sold them. Yo, they was going for like 3000 a piece. Oh, nah. That's, that was a good sale. Give us a run, nigga. Send that bread. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean You know my cash app You know my Zell You know what I mean Thank you Thank you nah. We'll see It's not selling out So I mean I don't care I'm in the building So I'm fucking good You shout out to that I'm gonna be there I'm gonna be there Losing my fucking mind Bad bunny <laughs> Nah he's there This is a the Hell of an experience Hell of an experience We shout out to that yeah. <clears throat> Yo we got an update On the uh, Caesar Oh the Caesar DJ MV, MV. You got the the oh you gonna look that up? Can I play uh what's his name Meryl or Deuce? Deuce is fucking. In the new sex segment, we have some financial news. Lisa. The Daily Show is a serious show. I know some people expect me to come on here and do my thing where I just roast people but I, that I have beef with, but this is a serious show. show. This is oh, a yeah, serious yeah, chair, yeah, serious yeah. desk, and now I'm going to give He's you some important financial news. This is fire, so important, fire. I have to put on but my This is spectacles. right in line with all the shit they're doing. Petty. But he said it. He said, I'm only reporting the news. Popular radio host DJ Envy now distancing himself from an alleged multi million dollar fraud scheme. He moved up. He moved up. Yeah, that's a big. Not DJ Envious. Was never on my radar. Go on. Federal agents arresting his longtime friend and one-time business partner Caesar Pena on charges of wire fraud, accusing him of a Ponzi-like real estate scheme that allegedly defrauded investors out of millions. Ooh. Pena often appeared on The Breakfast Club, a top 20 iHeartRadio show with millions oh, of listeners and YouTube plan. subscribers to promote and real YouTube. estate investment. He also held seminars and created you YouTube videos with book. DJ Envy. Oh. DJ Envy has not been charged in connection with the case, but many of the alleged victims say they were influenced by his celebrity status. Wow, DJ Envy is in trouble for real estate fraud. What a serious story. Yo, so it's definitely not funny. There's certainly nothing personal that makes it funny to me. It's not like Rashawn accosted me on the radio for making a little joke about him and his wife, which I only thought we were friends. It's not like he called me dickhead and then got so mad he locked himself in the studio for the rest of the show and then told the building security that I was a threat. But even if that happened, that's all in the past. (laughs) I'm just reading the news. Listen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't know the clip. He said some wonky shit about Envy's wife. It was out of pocket. But... But then, but then here's a here's here's a goofy shit. They apologized for it on the show, mm. and then left the show and said "fuck you, Envy." Like like immediately uh, after uh, online, uh, uh, which was corny. which was corny. <laughs> but then you know they split. <clears throat> they sued some marrow yeah, split yeah, yeah. because it was an issue with the manager, and that's that's not that's they sued right. They sued yeah. They sued didn't fuck with the manager. Said the dude was mm. like holding him back. Marrow felt like yo he need had to be loyal, and still with the manager. Still with the manager. But now Day Seuss is on a daily show yeah. and I haven't seen Meryl. Doing segments. I think he ho- I think he hosted like one of the late night shows too. Wow. So, so he's doing segments or he's, he's hosting doing, a daily show? I, no, I think he's doing segments. He's doing segments. That's a big step for him. Yeah, yo, yo good for him. Big yo, congrats. Doing, uh, uh, Bodega Boys. Yo, yes. Oh, pff, wrong one. You got to go to the front page. <laughs> 
selling out your friends and take you places. Yeah, yeah. You move up quick, yo. <laughs> Just go ahead and sell out your friends you here. You get to shit on people that... that this is the what they say up. when you sell your soul. <laughs> you shit on people on the way up. You know He's I mean? happy shit on Envy. Fuck it. You got the update with Caesar? No, I ain't got no... <laughs> I was too lost into this shit. <laughs> but he's basically saying that Envy's not a, a part of it, right? He was holding him, Envy down from what I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah, so. I think it's a done, I think it's a wrap for them. Oh, and Breakfast fact, Club is finished. And the fact that they keep making these online video statements is not helping their case at all. These people that have profited from this my success, Pena. which there's more people that profited from my success than the people that are suing me. But yeah, all these people that profited from my success, all the people that I have built out of jail, all the people that I have put cars in my name, apartments in my name, helped them with down payments for houses, helped them with this, helped them with when they can't pay their rent. Where are these people at? I don't see them. But yeah, I got all the haters, right? All the Tony Baloney fans, they're on my page. You're going to jail. Pay the people. But yeah, there's two free sides to every story. Right? I have 20 lawsuits. Out of those 20 lawsuits, a lot of those people I don't owe money to. Because everybody's suing me because of, oh my God, this guy's successful. I could sue him. I could sue him. I could sue him. Or oh, I'm going to get this money, right? Then you have all these people being co, co what's the word? Coerced? Coerced? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, whatever the word is, right? To sue people oh, yeah. just because they're Talk a bigger name, lawyer. right? The they're a bigger name than me. Right. Shut the fuck and up. that's the You're situation like, you know, so that breaks my heart the most is how the fuck in all up, these lawsuits, bro. these 20 lawsuits, DJ MB was never in the room. Money, but you look good, though. DJ MB has nothing nice to do with any of these 20 lawsuits of these people that are suing me. And it's, it fucking sucks, bro. It pisses me off that all these people are bashing DJ MB from Master Flex, Rick Ross, Every single person, because oh what you God, people gotta understand is the DJ Envy is so successful in hip hop that, as far as the DJ, the people just don't like him. And even though I love DJ Envy, but nine out of ten people don't like him. I don't know why. You know what, 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 what that, what's that about? I don't know if DJ Envy is a bad tipper. I don't know what it is. Well, he is a, he is a bad tipper. I'm not gonna lie, he is a bad tipper. Oh shit! Sorry. But you know, you got this guy Tony the Closer. Uh, I'm making, not you know, talking tip, like there's a narrative, right? And people don't see it. I talk shit about DJ MV. I talk shit about Caesar. I'm selling my my girl's ugly ass boots. I talk shit about DJ MV. I talk shit about Caesar. I talk shit about Jenny Tips. I'm selling a real estate course. I talk shit about Caesar. I talk shit about DJ MV. I'm selling an ugly ass t shirt. And people don't see that, right? They're not this seeing that. Minutes, then yo. all these people God with these damn. lawsuits, they're all suing right, me. We wrap Seminars, we were oh, partners in a couple this real estate transactions. In. That's it. Yo, you spent 20 minutes talking about He was my partner. Internet. He was an investor. Whoa, Anthony Martini. This guy, uh, Anthony Barone. We did a real estate transaction to, together. They're, they're my partners. The, they own part of the I'm property. The Everybody's a victim. Everybody's a victim. Nobody's an investor. Nobody. So, it is what it is. Everybody making a negative comment right now. Are you good? This is 19 minutes When I go to jail and I come back out and I, and I flip this shit again three times, what are you going to be doing? Are you? Yo, he said, when I go to jail, come back out, come back out and I flip this shit three times. I mean, you definitely don't want to say that before your sentence, right? Because it doesn't show the judge you have any remorse. No, nah, you're fucked, yo. What's up with people talking themselves into more longer prisons and making it worse? It's like the Tory Lane shit. This is like a Tory Lane shit. Yeah. Like online, like being braggadocious about the fucking case. I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta take, yo, sit the fuck down. He did all said, this after two weeks of everybody talking shit. Now you're gonna come out. Just don't say nothing. My man said, I'm gonna go to jail. Was anybody asking for him? I mean, no. I'm sure people want him to say something, but nah, for this. I'm sure his lawyer does it. No, of course not. Yo. Shut the fuck up, yo. If I'm his lawyer right now, I'm looking for another client. This I'm gonna is not going to go well. I'm going to get my stepsister, Olga. You're right. <laughs> Call Olga. I'm sure she's looking for work. Is this a criminal case for Olga? My stepsister, Olga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she, oh shit! I'm sure she's free. 
<laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> nah, yeah, they're they finished, crazy. yo. I, they still doing the Breakfast Club though. They going fucking jail. Oh shit. Yo, that shit. I guess it's going to jail this shit is oh hilarious. God, it's not funny, but it's funny, but it's not funny. Cause I know the families are 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 stressed not funny, right now. But damn, yo, you only making it worse, yo. Get the fuck you off. You making the it funny. You're making it funny now. You're making me want to laugh. You're making it funny. You know, you're talking mad shit. Just shut the fuck up, yo. I didn't want to laugh, and now you're making me want to laugh. You're making it too funny now. Now you're making it a joke. <laughs> it wasn't funny until y'all started doing this goofy shit. <laughs> 20 minutes, folks. 20 minutes he's on this live talking. You might as well just give the prosecution the case. Because 20 minutes of, wow, of evidence man. you gave them, of you talking about this active, of talking, ongoing of you, case. Of you talking without being interrogated or questioned. Oh, my God. They just God. pulled out mad information from you. Thank you. This is this is easier than Facebook taking your data. Bro, you might as well be these drill dudes talking about their crimes and their music. Oh, my God. There's no, there's no difference. This is wild. I don't understand the internet. My thing, like, yo, God forbid I never have these kind of troubles, but if I ever do, y'all not going to see me. You Fuck said, I'm going to stay offline, y'all. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> I'm not running to the internet. I'm going to have pre-canned things that we worked on a while ago <laughs> for this kind of narrative. It's going to roll out slowly. Yeah, slowly, yeah. I'm going to have a whole little marketing scheme for it. Like, <laughs> like, oh, man, look at all the things he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that months ago. Oh, man. Yo, Again, nobody has come out to say like, nah, they've helped me. They fucking. I haven't seen anybody come out for it's it. It's been like two months of this shit. It's only been people shooting at MV on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's a wild that's story wild, too, yo. man. Yo, I don't want to laugh. I feel so bad. Big shout out to Queens. Oh man, Queens get the money. Queens get the shout money, out. boy. Shout I'm telling you, we live shout up out to that. Trump. Shout out George <laughs> Santos. Oh, you heard about your boy Santos? <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's oh, another one. Ass. That's scam of the year. You heard about your boy George? I knew you had. I knew you had an update on him. Oh man! I saw somebody talking about him recently. I'm like, oh, he's still wilding out, yo. Oh, what the nah, fuck? He... What type of fraud shit is he doing? Oh, they got him. I get. Uh, it's what we talked about the campaign fraud shit. The, the, yeah, the money and everything. Yeah, the money. He's like, I don't got to give it back. I don't got to quit my position. I got voted in. I got voted in, yo. <laughs> they don't play with the campaign finances. Mm. We are following Two some breaking ago. news right now. It has to do with politics back here. And there are new charges that have been filed I tonight against Congressman George Santos from New York. Federal prosecutors filed the 23 count superseding indictment today. <laughs> stole the identities and the financial information of his contributors. Prosecutors say he used the information to repeatedly charge their credit cards without their permission and then transferred funds to his campaign. And they say he covered this up by lying about where those contributions came from. Santos is also facing charges of wire fraud, making false statements to the Federal Election Commission, and ah, money laundering. His oh lawyer God. tonight this is, is declining all accusations. To they have to prove it now. They say he's facing charges. Yeah, so the charges is like, yo, somebody said you did X, Y, Z. The state or Identi whatever identity theft. That's you know not enough mean? to lock you up. Wow, no, damn. Not when you're George Santos. Uh, he get there. He's going. He's going. They got his ass. Hmm? And they let him. Yo, they gave him a chance to walk away. New York Republican George they Santos said, yo, was hit with said, new criminal down. charges today. No. The freshman congressman who's admitted <laughs> to lying about in, his background you. during his campaign <laughs> is now accused of charges including conspiracy, <laughs> aggravated identity theft, and away. credit nah, card fraud. Prosecutors say Santos stole the identities of campaign donors and then used their oh, credit cards shit. for more than $40,000 in unauthorized charges. $40,000! Easy money. If you <laughs> if you donated to George Santos and he took your money, if you know, you know. Send us an email, conceded at nobody at gmail.com. We want to hear your story. Tell your story. Let's get in contact. If, Reach you, gave, out. if you gave DJ Envy some money, oh, I want to hear about it. I want to hear about it. Send, send, I want to hear this story. Work. Send us an email. We'll get you on this yeah, podcast yeah. here. See somebody reach out. This shit. This shit is wild, yo. This Queens, get the money, yo.
<laughs> Queens, He's dirt dog Queens ass is man. capital of the scammers, yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We do be scamming, yeah, son. Get the money. That's real shit. Yo, it's facts. <laughs> Early the on. The views expressed by conceding the body guests. I saw they came out of Queens. Of that host oh, or producers. shit. Scam is a part of their everyday life. Oh, my God. That's funny, yo. Nigerian scam has started here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact, though. I really do believe that. Oh, shit. But, yo, big shout out to uh, the George Santos. They finally got him. <laughs> Thank God. Well, it's all this shit happening in the news, They're too. running amok. Is, uh, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. Rest in peace, Matthew want to Perry. Talk about yeah, yeah. Now, see, now we here. All right, we here, man. We here now. Show is on its <laughs> way. You know, see, I knew there was some things. <laughs> this up. guy was trying to blow the load fresh out the gate. <laughs> bah, 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 Matthew! I'm fast. Yo, now you're rest in peace, Matthew Perry, man. 54 years old. Found him in his hot tub. What do you think? Unresponsive. OD? OD? They said there was no drugs on the scene. And you know what I mean? I want to put they, no dirt in that man's name. Huh? Would they say? There's no drugs think, in the scene. They found him unresponsive. I don't think they would say. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But we, when the Houston dies and they got a whole bathroom on the Full of cocaine, right? The paper. You right. <laughs> you right. 54 years old. It probably was that cocaine. You're the right, views expressed right. by conceded nobody <laughs> guests are not the shared views of when its hosts crack, or though. producers. I mean, no disrespect, but... No disrespect, but ODing in the tub is not... It's not unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, also, at 54 years old, you know, he was a little heavy. A heart attack or an aneurysm is not too far-fetched. A lot, a lot of the recent shit from... I went back and looked. A lot of the recent shit he was putting up, I think he was promoting a book, but I think it dealt with, like, a lot of depression and shit like that. He was... He must have been going through it for a long time. Okay. So you really, you really think it is a, it's a suicide... I don't. I don't know if it's a suicide. I don't think he. I don't know. This is just all speculation. I have right. no fucking clue. But like I said, maybe he just took too much of something he's used to taking and fell asleep at the wrong time. Mm. You fell asleep at the wrong time. I just, you just didn't do it in a tub. <laughs> this guy's like your mom. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep bringing shit back up. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> yeah. Two days later. No, just <laughs> no. Today's the day I could make jokes about it the day of. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Yo, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. <clears throat> that shit, that shit caught me off guard. I wasn't really expecting that. Uh... This is it. This is the era. All like the celebrities we grew up watching. This it is about to be a rap for them. Speaking of being a rap, you you seen Kim Kardashian can't get right. Since God. breaking up with Kanye, the people have been making that comment. Yeah, like sure. everybody thought that yo, when Kanye the left, bounce her, back with Pete yeah. Davidson, she looked nah. like she was glowing. Nobody that shit wasn't it. Fuck. Yeah, Card- the whole Kardashian thing. They only cared because it was fucking with Kanye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the whole Kardashian thing. Nobody cares about anymore. It's like falling apart. Like that whole fucking with the the younger sister, right? I think yeah, nobody really care about that like that. But he's not yet. Yeah. Nobody, he know he he. Everybody knows it's not serious. That right. motherfucker having a good time. Ain't shit going on over there that like <laughs> that shit is that shit is dead. No, that's a rap for her. And and how old she gotta be by now? I don't know. She's trying to get another athlete. I don't know. She might go Kim? back. Yeah. I don't know. Kim's gotta be she's older than us. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. So she gotta be like in her mid forties. What do you think her next uh what do you think she's gonna go for? Football player, basketball player, actor, singer, performer? I can see her being single for a while. Yeah, just write it out. Focus on the kids. Focus on the work. Yeah. I mean, I think she's about to be a lawyer. Or if she's not a lawyer already. she has, Her kids know. are like a high school age or junior high school age. I have no idea. I think they're in that like I don't know. I don't know single digit to double digit area. I don't even know how many. She got at least two, right, with Kanye? Yeah, I think she had like three. Three? Yeah, something like that. Don't, don't quote me. I don't know. But I think a little more than two. I think it's been a wrap for her though. Yeah, like you said, since Kanye, since the whole Kanye West shit fell apart. Yeah, that was really important to their brand. I think more so than they realized. Because ever since that, they, she came out with their, she has a new underwear, Skim. Skims? Yeah, Skims. You going to get some? I've heard of that. No, I'm not going to get I'm any. not getting no I'm not getting skims. new underwear from Kim Kardashian. Right? I don't need Kim Kardashian on my balls. I just got, I got some nice Hanes, some polos. Where do you get your mm-hmm. Hanes on you? I like my polo drawers. I'm still with the pervert drawers. Be nice. Yeah. So, nah. I'm not getting no expensive skims. I want to get some fly drawers. 
some of the parties and shit. I'll be like, oh, I gotta get dressed up now. I gotta I, get dressed yeah. up naked. I do the I gotta uh, get like naked dressed up. Listen, I do the uh, the nylon shits like the. the I gotta get like a see through shirt. I want to get like a see through shirt. I'm gonna get one of those Jamaican knitted oh, shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking like Razor Ramon. Hell yeah, yo, hey yo. <laughs> Which I just recently found out Razor Ramon was a white man all these years. We, I we, we broke that. Yeah, I'm like, oh, what the yeah, fuck? I got your live reaction. He was like from Michigan. You were like, no, he can't be. I was like, yeah, his name is Scott Hall, for real. Yo, that shit blew my <laughs> mind. Even when he started doing that Scott Hall he shit, did. I didn't really understand it. Like, he just did a, a Scarface uh, impersonation. Like, yeah. What, it just became offensive over the years? I guess so. People were like, yo. He did it his whole career. He kept doing it. The Razor Ramon never, shit? Yeah, he never stopped. That was his character. <laughs> yeah, he straight up impersonated the caricature yeah. of a Latin man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had the, the, the chest curl hair and everything. The curls. He was making fun the whole time. <laughs> yeah, what a motherfucker, right? I loved him. Oh, my God. <laughs> this place is sick. <laughs> Cold world, yo. This place is sick, yo. Wrestling was wild back yo, in the day. Yo, I didn't even so realize, you bro. You got with mad shit in wrestling. So I'm like, yo, he's not even Latin. Oh my god, <laughs> my boy was like a lumberjack, yo. Then yo, somebody had made a connection with me with Scarface. It was like, yo, this white man's in person in a Cuban. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh yeah. shit, yeah, Al Pacino. Yeah, Al Pacino's not Cuban. Oh <laughs> shit, he's not even a brown person. Oh my god, and it was a bad impersonation. Yeah, when you go back, <laughs> when you go back and watch it with that lens, it's so like, what the fuck? He's totally it's like making fun offensive. of that. Yeah, <laughs> totally. The whole time, he's the whole fucking movie. He's making fun of that. What are you doing with your tongue, man? You <laughs> <laughs> like you want to fuck with me? Yo, the whole time, this you know you are, you awesome, man. What makes it so offensive? Because it's like it's his idea of what Cuban men sound like. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when you listen to Scarface, this man is is uh, yeah, Scarface. Let's go to some Scarface quotes. Mm. The classics. Ahora tú. No, nah, that was my other shit. Not the leg, huh? That's why I really can't, I can't fuck with this movie. Fucking with the best. I can't fuck with this movie no more. It doesn't I'm hit the same. Scar like that, he didn't push it. How you got scar like that? Don't know what you told me to tell. I don't know Tell him you I was in sanitation. Is he his fan? Oh, I don't think so. They're, they're all so making fun of Spanish people. Yeah. He I might told you to tell him he was in a sanitary. In a sanitary. No sanitation. Look at this is sanitation. Yo, he's making fun of I killed a communist for fun. But for a green guy, I'm going to carve him up real nice. Real nice. He's in the whole time. Ah, 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 it's beautiful, man. Look at those titties. Are you kidding me or what? Are you kidding me or what? There's a bunch of Colombians coming in Friday. <laughs> what was this with the Colombians, man? He says Colombians and you make these eyes like... I, never what? I don't like fucking Colombians, okay? Mira esa jeva, man. Look at this man. She made it for what? Fucking crazy, man. She's a husband three years old. So anytime you saw one, I could see it. It was years. I never made a connection to Al Pacino. When in out. You know what I mean? Step in! So I saw how goofy it was. The other day. I lined up blue jeans, right? Like, oh my God, With my name really written on the back of chick's asses. How about? Oh, oh, look look at that. Hey, yo! You see what happened to him? Hey! Come on. Bitch. What I tried to tell you. Lesbian. What I tried to tell you. This country, you gotta make the money first. And then, you know, make it even then when you get the money, you get the no power. Spanish. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. You get the woman. You just made by where the scene with the no. mom. Just some she should have been know. yelling at him in it's Spanish. Yeah, a lot of, she should have been cursing him in Spanish. Yeah. Okay, Baba. Okay, fuck you. How's that? Fuck you. Fuck you. Yo. Nobody fucks with me, Tony. Fuck Scarface, yo. <laughs> Damn. Damn, always, we doing that, yo? Facts, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta throw oh the baby with the bathwater on that one, yo. Oh my god, that one is fucking impressive. By and then you know what makes it makes even more offensive of its hosts or producers. <laughs> what makes it even more offensive mm. is the real, the real godmother of Miami was a woman. It wasn't even a man. Yeah. It was you know uh, Griselda, mm-hmm. and Griselda had it on Smash, 
You know what I mean? So if you're gonna do a movie, you're trying to, and she was ruthless too. Yeah, so like the fought. same way Tony Montana, it was the Colombians that they were talking about. You know what I mean? So she was the one. If you're gonna do a movie about somebody that was running shit, do it with a uh, uh, go get Jennifer Lopez. Nah, I don't get Jennifer Lopez. No, I think they are doing a Griselda. They it's are coming out soon. Yeah, it is. That's why you know. Mm-hmm. Who's playing um, Griselda though? We gotta Google that. It can't be Jennifer Lopez. No, it's not. Because one of the things with Griselda is that she <clears> wasn't <throat> that much of a looker. Mm-hmm. She was like a little he- heavy set. What if they get somebody gorgeous? Nah. Because what makes it ill is that is that she wasn't that much of a looker, and because she was so, so fierce, you gotta click like show or news. This is a you guys cocaine cowboys where she comes from. You can watch mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Right there, watch Griselda, Netflix official. Who plays her? Oh, Sofia Vardaga. That's a good choice. Oh, she's bad, yo. She's bad. She's not. It's not a good choice according ah, to you. She's fine. Not, yeah. But Sofia, you want to yeah. see her? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't mind looking at her? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? But Griselda, the big thing with her was that she wasn't much of a local. She was, she always, I mean, for that time period. When she I seen her, you know what I mean? She wasn't she like. Was, she was legit powerful. She was, yeah, motherfuckers was scared. So it was like, yo, you might not want to give it a dick, but you're giving it a so dick. So this is out on Netflix right now? I don't know, is it? It said watch on Netflix. It might be. Oh, Griselda's out. Watch Griselda on Netflix. Let us know how it is. Let's see, nobody let's see on if Gmail. we can get a, uh, a trailer. Oh, hey, the old folk song, <laughs> the old folk song, the 50 and over crowd. Nah, it should have been somebody heavy, though, like somebody a little. It should have been a no name. Yeah, it would have been nice for a no name. Somebody, somebody a little regular or up and coming. That's a full market. You've thought about me a lot, haven't you? I heard that you like my product. We can make a lot of money together. They tone her down. She's not doing the big. Uh, Who is the one thing. in charge? Oh yeah, they tone her down. She don't look like her. She don't like Sofia Vargas. Yeah, her. Her. <clears throat> is that the same one from Modern Family? Uh, is that the same actress? It, it definitely doesn't look like it. I'm gonna tell you that right it now. Nah, yeah, right. They made her look like it. They don't make her look like a hot bitch. Oh, they could be like, like a fucking. Uh, oh yeah, that's the same chick. That's the name I put in. Wow. So oh, I mean, you and know she's what? Talking she's, about doing it. She, you know, she comes from novellas. So mm. she she definitely could be. Could we haven't dra- seen her. She could do the drama. She could do the drama because she was doing. <clears throat> she was good as a as a funny person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm ho- and she's really Colombian. So that's why another reason why I said like it was oh, a good choice. Cool. Yeah, she's really Colombian. That's dope. So she can it's like even when like you know Colombians have that that accent with their Spanish. Oh my god. I mean, parece, parece. No, no. Yeah, when the guys do it's fucking hilarious. But when the women talk, can you Google uh YouTube Colombian accents? Just, oh my god, this is gonna get me in trouble. Let me shut you the fuck put up. that on my house. Oh, yeah. Did you get slapped? Did you get yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't learn your lesson. That's just like Joe Pesci. Just oh, ping, the bang, ping. I come from a neighborhood <clears throat> with a lot of prostitutes. Oh Damn my it. god. I lose and I burn this house down. It's ended. Please <laughs> come back. When you're married to me, you're going to get yelled at many times. Hey, I, I want to hear it in Spanish. I want to hear the Spanish Colombians. I'm You've thought about me a lot, yeah, haven't you? you? <laughs> yeah, this is very different. That's her, too? That's her, son. Oh, shit. They did a good job. They're they, they doing a good job then. January yeah. 25th. Uh, comes out twenty fifth. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's uh, what I was that saying. That was interesting. That was interesting. That's what I was like, yo, because she wasn't. Like if they make it like almost like Tony Soprano style. Like She was. <laughs> like if they follow her around like that, where they showing her day to day and all the shit she was getting into. Yo, that's going to be sick to watch. You know when they talk about in the 80s? Like <clears> the it's a lot mur- of true story shit. Then the murder rate in Miami being wild crazy. Her. It was because of her. It's because of her. Because anybody, anybody that disrespected her was getting it. When you watch movies 
and they'll and it, it's in the '80s, and you hear that the Colombians in the U.S. It's Miami them. is it's her, them. it's her, yeah. You know what I mean? Because this is <clears throat> she, this is her shit. This is she had a connection 80s. with Pablo, yeah. I remember Pablo was one of the heaviest. Pablo mm-hmm. was doing billions in coke. He was doing that shit a lot through Mexico and Cali and shit, and that was the. If it came way. through the U.S., mm-hmm. it came through Miami, Miami, and that's what made Miami. That's what made South yeah, Beach yeah. the cocaine and shit. Mm-hmm. And if it's coming through Miami, it's coming through Griselda. So you can imagine if Pablo. If a good portion of Pablo, if we know Pablo is being a billionaire coke, coke dude, right? Mm-hmm. He's a plug. And his top earner is the U.S. And the big pores that it comes in through is Miami, I think L.A. Miami being the number one because yeah. I made Miami. And the only person that the, the, the big supplier for Miami, because she had a personal relationship with Pablo, because she comes out of Colombia. Mm-hmm. That's what brings her out there. And I think it was like her man or some shit was part of the cartels and shit. So she's been plugged in. You know what I mean? And then she becomes the only supplier for cocaine. God, and then man. she's the plug from Miami. So you yeah. imagine the bread she was making, son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son, Griselda's a beast. When you, you ever seen Cocaine Cowboys? Yeah, I love that shit, yo. A beast, a beast. That was like one of like the, my favorite early Netflix do- documentaries. I was mind blown when I cocaine seen that shit. Cocaine Cowboys. I was like, I can't believe this shit is real, yo. Right, yo. And it's a woman. Because, <clears> you know, <throat> people always say, oh, like, they try to like paint women as being these docile, mm-hmm. you know, creatures that, you know, white dresses. A lot of and the old heads blamed her for ruining it. What do you mean? That she brought all the bodies. That they were doing great. It wasn't until she showed up and started mobbing, <laughs> fucking Bogart and everything, yeah. yo. I mean, she's... Y- she y- took y- over. She yeah. Bogart. That's she what Bogart. she did. She came y- to Miami and took over. Yeah, I played with her. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's no... I mean, at the end of the day, think about it like this. She worked for Pablo. Mm-hmm. Pablo's doing numbers. <laughs> you know, if you Pablo Escobar, and she's a woman in the 70s, you all right? I'm Pablo. I'm like, yo, I don't really about... You want me to trust my operation to you? Like, because you're going to be my main person in Miami. You want me to... Ask, we talk about big numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have to show out. And Pablo was violent. You know, you seen Narcos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wasn't playing no games That's in Colombia. Yeah. So if you're not showing me that you ruthless like we are, like you giving it up like we giving it up out here, mm-hmm. and you on some soft shit in Miami, I'm not going to let you run Miami. No, I'm going to get somebody else in there that can handle it. So she, I feel like she had to step into that to be that. That's what makes it so cool. God damn. You know what I mean? Because this is riveting. It is. We all, because we saw Narcos, so you saw yeah. one side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now you get a chance to see how it came into Miami. Cocaine Cowboys, you got like the, the docuseries of it. This is oh. going to be the dramatized version. I'm going to tell you too, another thing, right? Because for our generation, our folks were never really portrayed in this light. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Our people were always like the n- number three gangster. We were like the, you know, the jail, the jail, fucking, yeah. the jailhouse roommate. You know what I mean, shit. and they act like maybe we had a couple of movies here and there. We caught, you caught a little taste of some mm-hmm. dudes doing their thing. But when it came to, you know, black and brown people, Spanish speakers, non this is us. They showcasing us running the empire. This is shit. yeah. This is you know you we we always had like the mobsters, the the Godfathers, yeah. the the Italians, and Italians did they think. I'm not. That's what I'm saying, yo. I, 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 I got sick mean? of that shit. I was like, all right, we right. get it. Right? We get it. But when you watch Griselda and you look at her story, she the Italians weren't the... They made it seem like the Italians were the end-all, be-all, and they couldn't be touched, yeah. and that wasn't the case. Yeah. They were a faction, right? Mm-hmm. They might have had a lot of politicians, and they might have had a good run, but there were definitely other organizations out there yeah, that yeah. were like monsters Don't make too. Don't noise. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Monsters. Don't a sleep people, on them. A lot of people making noise. Yeah, facts. And even, I think as we get older, because you, I'm hearing remnants of it. You know, what's the guy, El Chapo, mm-hmm. that they locked up, right? Yeah. And you hear these rappers talk about early 2000s. It was his, his sons that was moving everything in Chicago. 50 talks about Buck gets his chain stolen. Mm-hmm. In Chicago, hanging out at night when he shouldn't have, and then some. The person who stole the chain brings it to El Chapo's son, in like oh three oh four, right? Oh, El Chapo's son reaches out to Fifty, you know, looking to start a relationship, right? So offers the chain back on GP. It's like, yo, look, I got your man's chain, but oh my god, you know, I you know, I, I see you moving, yeah, exactly, oh. Fifty. 50 showed up with some bread. He said, yeah, watch the interview. He said he showed up with some bread. He already knew what it was, right? And 50 yeah. was strong enough to where, like, you're not going to muscle in on me yeah, yeah, yeah. and make me do something I don't want to do, yeah. right? But he wasn't involved in anything like that, and he was just like, yo, I think he said he ended up paying for it. 
they did end up staying in contact. You know, concert here, ticket there, little shit, little, little shit. shit like that. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> I'm sure you hear stories because like wild, yeah, Chicago. He's saying that. I mean, he's saying without saying right that they're in Chicago, they're moving and doing their thing. If you think about where Chicago is twenty years later and how those neighborhoods have changed and things like that, yo, and now well, Chapo, you know, the feds finally got on got him. A Chapo being a billionaire that he is, yeah. Chicago being the way that money started coming in through. You feel me? Like if they're in Chicago moving shit like that, like mm-hmm. that's like the entry point. So I love hearing stories like that. Not to say I glorify this crime shit, but it's just like, all right, other people, you know, other communities do crime at a large scale too. Part of history shit is happening. Part of history, yeah. Just because you don't know what's going on don't mean it ain't. A lot of shit. Fuck Gangs me, in yo. New York. Yo, that cocaine cowboys, when they showed them flying north into like Tennessee and then loading up the fucking pickup truck with the ultra brolic deluxe shocks so the weight doesn't distribute down. And they loaded up the fucking truck with, with fucking coke and drove it down into Florida because they said all the checkpoints are going up north because they know the coke comes from Miami going up north to the rest of the country. So nobody's so checking south. F- nobody's check- There's no checkpoints coming down south. This, this, so it was a clear straight fucking drive for them. They just had to fly one state up more. I was like, yo, these motherfuckers calculated, yo. They was yo, not playing, it son. Was real. That was a fucking crazy operation. Like you said, in the 70s. In the and 70s. there was no, they would say, yo, there's no air traffic control. We would just check in. Yo, this is me. I see you. I'm about to land. All right, you got it. You clear. Like, nobody was checking your fucking plane. Nobody yo, gave a fuck back in the day. I mean, yo, illegal drugs is illegal drugs. I don't, I don't glorify it. But when you think about how hard it is, like, for you to move cocaine from the... From to the, get it in, the, right? The, yeah. Just to get a, it in. It's a major operation. It's crazy, It's son. crazy, son. And then you're, yo, you're constantly fighting the law. You know what I mean? So Always. It is like... You imagine as a regular business person that has the law on their side, you still struggling with like delays <laughs> and shit like that. Here, you you can lose a whole shipment, the shipment and you the people. Eat that, and you're worried about the people that you lose turning <clears throat> turning on you, turning and ruining more shit. Right, fuck up the whole operation. Yo, shit crazy. Oh my god, shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. Wrap I, this up, yo. I look forward to this though. I look forward to seeing. It looks Griselda. good. Yo. It looks good. Sophia Vargas is she a great good. choice. She looked good. It looked like a good choice. I hope it's in Spanish. Serious. I wouldn't mind it. They might do the flip where they start off in Spanish and then they'll transition into English. So it gives you like the illusion of, oh, we're really speaking Spanish, but we're trying to make it easier, make it a easier viewing experience. I like I like the way they did in Narcos because where you should be speaking Spanish, you're speaking Spanish, right? Like when they were in Colombia. It's Netflix. Yeah, so that's what I like about Netflix. That's you know good. what I mean? They, they in tune with that. If you're in Miami, she's at home with her family. Talk speaks English. Spanish. Oh, in Spanish. I mean, because if you were in Miami in the 70s, well, immigrants, they're not really speaking English like that. Not in the house. You know what I mean? You're mm-hmm. outside in the street, this side of the third. I can hear the Spanish then. Yeah, 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 yeah. But your Spanish needs, your English needs, yeah. needs to not be that good either. Mm-hmm. I need your Spanish English to be a little shaky McShaky to give me the real effect. You want the authentic shit. Yeah, because yeah. this is the 70s. So even when people that were learning English back then, you know what I mean? It wasn't everybody that was like fluent. You feel what I'm saying? You might have had yo. some joints. But Sophia's going to be great, man. I think I'm really looking forward to see her uh, do this role. It looks good. I'm excited. And you can, you, you can barely notice her. We can get out of here. Oh, it's time? Yeah, it's time. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Uh, Talk about how great Griselda and Sophia is. Who else is great? Shout out to South Africa. Shout out to South Africa. This is Tyler. This song right here, yo. I had this song on repeat. This shit, shit has been, been a vibe. This shit been bumping, yo. Like the past two months, I feel like this shit. This is a TikTok song for me. I first heard it, I think, on TikTok. I think they was shit. playing this in the bar by me. This shit has been a vibe on a vibe of a vibe. Hey, sorry, I'm a this is Tyler. She's yeah, coming out of South Africa. Makes history being later. one of the first.
she has like a lot of voices too with the whole thing is a Chico. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's your boy Rick Bell, and when I want to hear some real shit, I listen to Conceited Nobody. Oh, yeah. They keep it 100. Oh, yeah. Couple of nobodies. You should fucking listen to. I just caught the 40, I might let it bang on them. I might rip my.